Gamers, let's get Zach. Zach, hello. Chat, welcome. Oh my goodness. It's time for more neighboring from the two of us. It's been two weeks since we last neighbored on this channel. Well, me and Zach well, both neighbored on this channel. So we need more welcome, neighboring. Welcome <laughs> one and all to the neighborhood. <laughs> hello, everybody. Hi, hello. Um... Yeah, today we're playing Hello Neighbor 2. Uh, all I know about this game is that it was unfinished. That's all I know about this game. I've seen <laughs> I've seen a few of the clips of Zach and Phil's stream. Uh, but I actually don't know that much about this game. I did I definitely didn't watch it in full. Um, so yeah, this is my first exposure to this game. Zach, you're here to partially help keep me sane for entertainment and comfort, but also Hopefully you'll remember this game enough to help me when I get stuck sometimes, because it's definitely going to happen. <laughs> I, Phil and I played it a year ago, so I yeah, but may you have the best memory everything. ever. Oh, of course, especially <laughs> for especially for my favorite franchise, Hello Neighbor. Exactly, chat. We love Hello Neighbor. Um, <laughs> so all right, I'm gonna start. All right, I'm gonna set up a screen share for the game as well. Um. Yeah, I'm. I don't know. I'm. I'm not going into this with high expectations because I don't want to be underwhelmed. But I um. I I I I do. I, I I want. I want this game to be good. I really do. I genuinely want this game to be good. Um. All right. I will say too. Like I was. I was telling Isaac this before the stream. I feel mm -hmm. like the the most popular clip of me when it comes to Hello Neighbor 2 is me freaking out about how much I hate the ending of it. But, like, people who saw the Phil stream will actually remember that up until the ending, I quite liked this game. Yeah. <clears throat> I think... I, I, uh... I haven't finished VR yet, but I have a feeling it won't be quite as good as VR. I just think Hello Neighbor works really well in VR. But... No, I think, I think this will be... I think this will be a great time. Um... Let's... Let's... Let's get started. <laughs> I don't know, again, I don't know how different it'll be from when you saw it, but I haven't even seen the opening, so. Uh, you know, so long as the final area has been fixed, I, I'm going to be content. <laughs> so that is neighbor number one. <laughs> oh, he my character is doing the thing. <laughs> my character is doing the thing where it barely fucking moves. Uh, whatever. OMG, is that pasture from Hello Neighbor is the worst something something I hate neighbor? Yeah, that's me. That's 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 them. I made that one video where I was admittedly like unnecessarily cruel towards an indie horror game. <laughs> yeah, who would who would do that? Looks both ways. <laughs> what? Ah shit. Jeez. Oh, Mr. Peterson, up to his up to his old shindig again. Call the police! <laughs> I will say, um, from what I've seen, I think the Hello Neighbor style is executed better in this game than in the first. Oh yeah, the art style in this game, game is actually like very consistent and very nice looking. Yeah, I think the game looks nice overall from what I've seen. See, that's one thing, like, a lot of my, uh, oh, hello, uh, what was that, the guest? Is that his name? Uh, yes. Yeah, uh, that was one thing, actually. A lot of the stuff I complain about in Hello Neighbor 1, in that original video I made about it, is actually not present in this game with a couple, like, exceptions. Because, like, you know, I complained a lot about that game's art style. This one's art style is that, but more consistent and cohesive. Yeah. It looks nice. Like, Hello Neighbor 2 is a good-looking game. All right, I got a gear. Uh... It's not for that, I take it. Over here! Okay, fun. Yeah, uh, chat, we will still finish Hello Neighbor VR. I'm tempted to just do it off-stream, I'm gonna be so real. But, I'll- I'll try to do it. Uh, yeet! Okay. Alright, alright. It's like an escape room at the start. It's like... I can't think of a joke. The glitched attraction. I was going to say the glitch attraction. 
crowbar Half-Life reference, indeed. True. Okay. We got what? Theodore Masters Peterson in chat saying, play my game. Hello, Theodore Masters Peterson. We watched your show, isn't that good enough? Well, no, I'm, I'm playing Hello Neighbor 2 and VR. I'm, I'm, I'm doing pretty good. I, I'm, I'm doing more than most people are willing to give them neighborhood. Can I not pull this yet? Is there supposed to be one here? Or here? Here, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, you need another one there. Uh, da -da. Where else is there to go? Can I just steal this one? That'd be funny. Okay. Uh, hello. And yeah, no, like, I'm seeing some people point out, yeah, like, the levels in this game are a lot smaller, which is so nice, because you can actually just, like, you know, do environmental puzzles and learn what you're doing to get through them instead of having the one gigantic house where nothing makes sense. <laughs> uh, okay, I need one more gear. Like, gears of war, gears of neighbor. Can I open this? Gears of neighbor. Gears of neighbor. I love Hello Neighbor. I am I am slowly growing a soft spot for the Neighbor series. I could Honestly, said that you way and I both. Yeah, like I will still never get over how much I hate the first game, but like it's fine. <laughs> See, like that's the thing. I, I don't um, know where to go. Uh, I I hate the original Hello Neighbor. I still think it is the worst. Like mascot horror title that has ever been made no matter how many no matter how many okay, npcs in my comments that. say oh he's never heard of garden of ban ban no, no i still think hello neighbor's a worse game but like absolutely i think as a franchise i'm warming up to hello neighbor a lot because they're starting to like pump out stuff with more quality every time also hello I love him. He's my favorite slasher. <laughs> I I still cannot get over how awesome he was in the TV show. He was so goddamn good in the show. Like, why did they actually cook with him for that for that show? Oh, this is a cutscene. Okay. It's like FNAF. Yeah. It's, you know, the funny thing was, I said that on Phil's stream, too, and he was very mad at me. <laughs> I'm sure he was. <laughs> it's like that one shot in The Help Wanted 1 with Freddy. Um, oh my god, yeah, that one. That's what I... <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. The 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 the, uh, the hard mode parts in service. Anyway. Um, oh yes 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 yes. yes. I'm a FNAF fan. Okay, I, I, I you was, you could have said that instead of that one part with Freddy. You know how vague that is. <laughs> you, you, you know how vague it is to say. Oh yeah, you know that one scene with Freddy in the game called Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, but yeah. Anyway. Thank you, I don't know how to say your name, Buryu13 for the $5. Game needs more spooky. Add either Clyde Plush or Red Pyramid to desk for more spook. The Clyde Plush is very scary. I won't do that. Thank you for the 5 And thank you, Peteroid, for the 5 What would be the funniest tiny build game to cameo in the neighbor cartoon? Um, okay, I got an idea. P picture this, I picture this, okay? While I get this plush. Uh, tiny build published Cluster Truck. So what if we had, like... A scene where Nikki and the neighbor are like jumping across trucks in ongoing traffic to escape one another. Oh, and while she's running, <laughs> she goes, Man, this is such a cluster truck! <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I think that's a, build, I'm just saying. I you think that's a great me. idea. Uh why why Clyde plush? No Clyde. Clyde plush? Clyde plush. Here, Clyde plush. I love the Clyde plush. It's so cute. Sorry, I meant spooky. Um, Good. Don't ever insult me like that again. <laughs> simming. I'm so mad simming wasn't in the show. I'm so sad that the show actually had, like, proper grammar for all, like, the writing. I would have loved it if it had the whole Hello Neighbor motif of just everything, like, being an anagram of itself. Yeah. 
Thank you, Peter. Right, 11 for another five. I appreciate it. Uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to go up here, but I'm going to because I want to. Uh, Hello, neighbor is some. Hello, neighbor two is somehow way worse than the original. The puzzles, while not great, are certainly. Are you? You're, this is a bit, right? You're joking in no, chat. No, Zach. Said that. I've been like Zach. I'm. I'm. I. I've been. I haven't even played the game. I've been losing my goddamn mind. People keep telling. It's, it's everyone online. Everyone, so not like, and unanimously is what I mean to say. Unanimously agrees that this game is better than the first because it's not that hard. It's it's pretty hard to get worse than the first. But my friends keep telling me this game is worse than the first, and I know they're just wrong because I'm not convinced they played both games. I was gonna say like that. I'm I'm genuinely convinced if you think Hello Neighbor One is better, that it's just rage bait. Uh, I'm just gonna walk around. Fuck it. Let's break into some homes. Fuck it, can I just break in? Oh. Master, what's the best Hello Neighbor game so far? I mean, I haven't played Search and Rescue. Damn. Um, so I wouldn't know about that one, no. but I, I do think this is the highest quality game. Yeah, it'll definitely come down to this in Search and Rescue. I do enjoy Secret Neighbor, but there's just so many games like it that do it better, so I'm in. <laughs> It's not the most worth playing, but it's, it's fun. This uh, game is definitely a big improvement over the first two. I wouldn't call it good, though. I mean, yeah, I think, like, from when I last played it, I would say it's mid all as a whole package, but we're comparing mid to an actual dumpster fire that makes you hate yourself, so... True. I don't know if I've ever... Okay, I was, I was about to tell a lie. I was gonna say, I don't know if I've ever been more miserable playing a game as I have uh, Hell Number 1. That's not true. It's the same one that rivals it for you. I, I don't, I think I'd rather play Hell Neighbor 1 than Scorn again. <laughs> yeah. I, okay, the thing is, Hell so Neighbor 1 was Hell convoluted Neighbor. and broken and messy and janky in every single conceivable fashion, but at least it wasn't, uh, at least it wasn't so boring that I never finished it. Scorn is one of the, is so unbelievably miserable. Okay, I assume there's something I'm supposed to do in here. Maybe something I'm supposed to take. Or maybe I was just supposed to go to somewhere. Um, well, where is this? I guess I just... Okay, let's just go say hi to the nice officers. Yeah, you. I, I believe the first level you want to go to is the level where you see the officers on camera. You want to investigate the house. I want to say, hello, neighbor. Hi! You ain't got no eyes. You're like this cop always reminded me of the dad from the dad Cloudy from Cloudy with the Chance. I was gonna say that. Hi. Ah! <laughs> okay. Oh, that's nice. He just throws me like five feet. Okay. Nope. 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 I'm beyond the property line. And <laughs> direct. <laughs> Um, okay. So, you can't the most see. tame officer in Florida. Does this take place in Florida? I don't know. That was just someone in chat. Where does this game take place? I've never thought about that. Is Raven Brooks meant to be in a real place? Hi. I don't remember Raven away, Brooks please. having, like, an actual, um... What's I remember the Raven state Brooks actually having, people? like, a state it takes place in. Oh. Oh, it- everyone in chat is saying it takes place in Missouri. Oh. Interesting. Cool, okay. Alright, that's locked. I need something. I'm glad we've got I'm glad we got the neighborhood in chat to help us with the lore. I was told in chat during the VR stream that people on Hell and Neighbor servers were just hoping and praying that I'd like the game. Oh. <laughs> See, okay, like here's here's the other thing, like okay, that's what here's the other thing about like Hello Neighbor that like um I've kind of grown to appreciate over time is that like hello neighbor fans are very committed no matter how bad the game is bro it's the same hang on i missed the donation uh thank you nova commander for the five dollars the fact you guys are actually starting to enjoy the hell neighbor franchise means that 2024 is gonna be a wild ride yeah the t the, the we we went in maybe we were in the wrong multiverse i don't know 
Um, but yeah, I was gonna say it's the same thing with me for Dark Deception fans. I can't. I like. I'll make fun of them, but like, I just. Okay. I just so respect the commitment to something that, like, especially because of how often they're forced to be disappointed, because of how often things get delayed. Like, I just, I have to respect the dedication to a series that almost no one cares about. <laughs> I know, like, that's the thing. Like, I can never, like, I, I remember in my video, which, like, I said a lot of things in that video I kind of regret now. But, like, one of the things I said was, like, I don't understand how someone could be a Hello Neighbor fan. And, like, when it comes to the first game, I still hold that opinion because, like, <laughs> what is there for you to enjoy in that first game? If you enjoy it, go off, I guess. But, like, I don't really get it. Um, <laughs> but, like, with the later games in the franchise and other Hello Neighbor media, honestly, go off. Yeah. Again, VR like, was pretty damn good. I still need to finish it, but it seems just genuinely good. Like, Hello Neighbor fans are such a committed bunch, and I appreciate them so much. Absolutely. Especially considering, like, okay, I think my favorite thing that came out of your, like, your uh, Hello Neighbor show video with me in it, I have loved so much checking Twitter every now and then and seeing somebody with a Hello Neighbor profile picture celebrating that video's existence. <laughs> There's something oddly wholesome about that. Uh, uh oh. Um... I don't even know where the front door is. Uh, he can't see me behind this house. He should actually lose you. I think so. Okay, I did notice something, though. I noticed... I noticed blocks with numbers. I think the blocks with numbers are what I need. Brother. Oh. Ah! Oh, shit. So he has Fuck. he has more awareness than a uh, than a lost one in Dark Revival. <laughs> he is more aware than the Dark Revival NPCs. Shout out to the banger clip of when I played that game, and I just like found the perfect sweet spot to let one walk by me in that tight hallway. That was fire. I I genuinely love how little. Uh, how, how little spatial awareness the Dark Revival NPCs have. It, it makes it so much fun to mess around with them. <laughs> I'm already understanding what's going on here because I played Shipwrecked. These are the colors of the blocks and that's the order of the code. This is the third one. <laughs> little did you realize that Shipwreck 64 was based off of Hello Neighbor. <laughs> this is going to kill us. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. Just like the neighbor. He cannot escape the truth. I don't know if this is a 6 or a 9. Brother. Okay, whatever. I don't care. Um, it's either a 6 or a 9. I don't know if this is something I'm supposed to do right now or if I should be doing it. Like, I don't know if all the blocks are accessible right now because I can't seem to go up. Maybe that's something I can do to, like, cut this. There, there are some environmental puzzles you have to do to get everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. And unlike the last game, you can actually reasonably figure them out on your own. Yeah, I definitely, I, I very much struggled with Hell Neighbor VR because, but again, like, that's not really a critique on the game. I'm just stupid. Um, but like, yeah, I can absolutely. Hi. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Did you see him checking himself out? He was. <laughs> but like, yeah, I can definitely tell in VR that everything was. Designed to be solvable by a player, I, which I don't think the first one was. And by that I mean we know for a fact it wasn't. Mm-hmm. Okay, well I already have three of them. Probably gonna need something to go up there. Hang on, let me just hide. Thank you, Conta, for the ten... something dollars. Whatever R means. Uh, last week I was having a fever... A Fever bad trip, 40 plus from an infection, and watching your video about the, about the Hell of Neighbor cartoon was semi hallucinating. Thanks for the amazing experience. Well, I hope you're feeling better now. If not, I hope you get better soon. Glad we provided some neighboring for the suffering. Could you please put my favorite movie poster ever, Surf's Up, Surf's Up to Wave Media poster? Is that the one with John Cena? Thank, thank you, Jill of all trades. Uh, Is that the one with John Cena? 
I... Surf's up no, to... I think my favorite thing about the whole super chat $5 to put on a desk thing that, like, <laughs> you and uh, Noah have in your streams is, like, <laughs> there will be the person who asks for the Clyde plush, and then after that, nobody asks for anything normal ever again. It's... You always just learn new things exist through this. I know, like... You, you you'll never you'll never get something along the lines of like Cold oh fuck. put like put like a, a, a cute stuffed animal on the desk after that you'll get something like oh yeah could you put this frame from the third season of this show that I watched in 1985 that nobody's <laughs> heard of except for me because I got it on a VHS from a thrift store when I was a wee little lad <laughs> I need specifically that frame nothing else will satisfy me I paid the money. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Noah, for the $5. I'm watching this with, uh, while working in the background. The best tiny little game IMO is now for broadcast. I need to get to that one. Thank you for the 5 I appreciate it. No, yeah, the, the, desk, the desk system has genuinely, like, made me aware of pieces of media I never would have otherwise. So I guess that's kind of cool. I know. It's so fun. Ah, uh, that's probably going to go off. That was an interesting decision I just made. Ah! Is he not made aware of clocks? He's deaf. Nope, he's still... Okay, well, alright then. He's still checking himself out. <laughs> I thought maybe I'd need, like, the knife that was laid out here to, like, cut the... Whatever the fuck it's called, the tape. Huh, okay. Also, uh, people in chat are making a really big deal about you not taking a shower because of the paint, and they are now begging me to tell you to take a shower. Sure, man. Man, so nice. <laughs> this is a need? Why? Uh, yeah, because apparently the oh, I track your footprints. footsteps. F footprints. Interesting. How do I know when I'm... I guess I'm good? Okay. Yeah, you're good now. <laughs> Thank you, Tibby, for the $5. Add Tibby. Sure, I think I still have that one saved. Yeah, I like, I like the person in chat who said what I was going to say, as if the AI isn't stuck right now. Like, yeah, chat's over here like, the AI is going to track you. The AI is going to track your footprints. The AI currently in the other room checking himself out constantly. Well, are they stuck or, do they just, or have they just not had a reason to be made aware of me? I'm pretty sure he's just distracted. I don't think he's actually stuck stuck. Although I could be wrong. Yeah, I mean, we'll find out, I guess. Because I'll probably do it. Is wow. Hello Neighbor yeah, AI. Um, I, wow, huh. <laughs> yeah, you uh, you left a little trail of breadcrumbs. Uh, that's funny. Oh, wait. Chat, we're moving on up in the world. Like that one DA game song. Oh my god, I don't remember that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a security breach one. Can I... Why can't I open this one? Is it locked? Okay. It's boarded up. Is it locked in sewer? My Ooh. favorite FNAF fan game. Who told Mark Blair's team about this? Um, thank you, Scully Wooly, my favorite Poppy Playtime character. <laughs> thank you, Scully Wooly, for the $10. Add the Smiler Alton Towers logo to the desk. See, that's what I'm talking about. I have just no idea what that means. Coaster. This oh, is, is that what that is? About. People do not ask for like, oh yeah, put this character I like. They're like, yeah, put the logo of this roller coaster I like. That's, huh. Uh, yeah, never heard of it. I'm going to have to copy and paste that because I'm not going to even remember that looking it up. The Smiler Ult. Oh my God, this is so past record. Okay, you know what's really funny about you saying that? <laughs> what? Past respect. Okay. We'll be back in a second. Ugh. Chat. You hear you hearing me? Do you hear my cries from the distant beyond? Oh, oh, it looks like the stream's All right. back. Hello, chat. OBS decided to kill itself. <laughs> Alright, now, Zach, tell your story about the logo. Okay, so it's really funny that the Smiler logo randomly gets brought up because, like, you know, I'm sitting here making, I'm sitting here bullying chat for asking for the most random shit for the desk, but I'm. <laughs> it was really funny while the stream was crashing. Um, this is like so random and off topic, but like, 
while like after the stream crashed, I was I was just like sitting in silence and I was reminded of the fact that I found out last night that there was a non-binary Splatoon character. So oh I just God. tweeted about that while the stream was coming back, and some the first reply I got was, "That's cool, but what happened to the stream?" <laughs> <laughs> Hi, chat. Hello. I don't know what went wrong. I don't know what's going wrong. Um, I'll probably have to wait. Hang on. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, I'll pro. I guess I'll lower settings of game. I don't know, because I don't. Th I don't think that's the problem. There's no performance issues. Everything's just dying. I don't know. I apologize, chat. Okay. Did I miss... I think I missed donations, too. Thank you, Jay the Frog, for the five uh, pounds. Thank you, Mr. Noah, for the two dollars. Thank you, Scully Wooly, for the two dollars. And thank you, Jill of All Trades, for the six pounds. Uh, okay, and I will get to those. Okay, yeah, chat. I think I'm gonna have to lower game settings. I don't know, because I don't know why... Why are you telling me to sacrifice Pastra? Um... What? What? <laughs> don't worry about it. What um, do I do? I don't know. Uh, I don't think anything. Okay. Uh... I guess we'll fuck it. How do I? Wait, I can't even. Okay, we'll max frames at 60. And we'll keep things at high as opposed to over high. Well, it's already pretty much all on high. I might have to change some to medium, I guess. I don't know. Um, stop saying sacrifice. <laughs> This is not past respect's fault, I don't think. It could be. I don't know. Thank you, BurU13. Okay. Before I attempt to do anything, in case things die, Zach, tell your fucking story of the Smiler. <laughs> okay. So, um... Also, if I could, if I, I, there's actually a picture that's gonna go with the story if I can, uh, if I can find it on my computer. I'm gonna look for it while I tell the story. Okay. Um, but back whenever I was creating... Um, back whenever I was creating Lankman for the first time, when I was making his first design in high school, I made a concept design for what the character could potentially look like. That concept design was based off of the Smiler logo, because while I was making the concept, I was listening to the Smiler theme song from Alton Towers. Um... I, so, uh, what? for a while, Lankman's design was based off of that logo. Yeah, here we go. I found the picture. You can show this on stream. This was the first Lankman design I ever made. And it's inspired by this logo. <laughs> it was inspired by that logo, yes. I ended That's up it. not liking the design, and I changed it, but that was the first one. It's even more Halloween-y than most of your designs. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's cool, though. It's cool, but yeah, I mean, yeah, obviously, new Lank Man better, but yeah, this is cool, too. <laughs> That's so funny, because I've never heard of this. What the hell is the, the Alton Towers? I've, is it... Where is it? Okay, I don't, I don't know anything. Okay. I am... I have to put a lot of things on the desk, apparently. And hopefully that doesn't kill anything. This is... This is so sad, by the way. I checked that tweet I made in between the stream crash talk about the non-binary Splatoon character. Uh -huh. I'm getting people in my replies asking who said non-binary Splatoon character is, and other people are replying with the wrong character that isn't non-binary. <laughs> this is so sad. Also, make sure you screen share for me again. I will do so. Momentarily. Why is everyone asking for movie posters? Thank you, Jill of All Trades, for the six pounds. Could you please add the Silent Hill 2 movie poster for Pastor, please? Thank you. Uh, thank you, Jay the Frog, for, a fi for the five pounds. Thank you, Skelly Willie, for the five dollars. Okay, chat. Nothing could possibly go wrong now, right? Right, Zach? We'll, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. 
there's always technical difficulties every single time I'm on a Hello Neighbor stream because on on Phil's stream too, we kept having internet issues, and my microphone sounded like an Xbox mic. Huh. That sounds very funny, though, to be fair. But, yeah. It was really funny. Yeah, I... I find it strange how often Phil has technical difficulties. <laughs> Every... Yeah, it, it goes wrong all the time. Everything always goes wrong. Alright, chat. Um, I guess if anything crashes again... I'll probably go to medium settings. <laughs> Don't know what that'll look like. Hopefully not the worst thing possible. Oh, I have one of the blocks! Joy of joys. You're not screen sharing. Right, I'm not. God damn it, I'm stupid. <laughs> Theodore Masters Peterson in chat just said, Yeah, I don't like Astra. What the fuck? All they did was say a lot of bad things about your game. All I did was call your game the absolute worst of mascot what horror I, what and say some like? really mean stuff. Well, that was exit, not continue. <laughs> Thank you, Z Ted Fury, for the $2. What is the app pass or what's the best part of Final Fantasy? Oh, let me tell you about Sephiroth. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh my God. I don't know. I, um, I'm trying to think of, I'm trying to think of like a oh, nice can, easy like, way to answer things. that. I'll just say the story. Final Fantasy VII's story is the most invested I've ever been in a game story, like ever. It is actually the most masterful writing I've seen in a while. That's huge. So I'll just, I'll just say that to not derail the stream too much into me talking about Final Fantasy. It's fine. Okay, so I've, Whoa. I've found. How do you like place things? Okay. I keep accidentally throwing things instead of placing things. Oh, hi. Hi! Why did that actually make me jump a little? <laughs> Fuck this guy. Um, what was I, I was gonna say a thing. Right, okay, I found a 4, an 8, and either a 6 or a 9. I'm not exactly sure. There must be something to do with this, with the Urkimi niece... Yeah, I know there is a way to to get upstairs. I just forget what it is. Hey, buddy. Jukes, goddamn. <laughs> I mean, you had a cool idea there. <laughs> it would have been fire, yeah. It would have been sick. <laughs> Man, I'll never be as cool as Trinity and Nikki. All right. Pastor, you got to make a video about how good Hello Neighbor is now since it scared you. Come on, guys. <laughs> How Hello Neighbor scares us. Come on. Why are you here now? Whatever. I mean, if I have three of the four, I could guess. Wouldn't be that I'll hard. I'll just say, like, you've got three of the four. Um, You've got three of the four, so you can just trial by error. Chat, let's do things the cheap way. So it's something, but I don't know if it's six or nine. <laughs> I don't even know where I found it. Where, where did you put the block? I I just threw it. Nothing's. I think How? things reset back to where they were though. How oh, hello neighbor brought my wife and kids back. <laughs> I'd love to hear that story. <laughs> I mean, like I've I've seen like video topics that get that crazy when it comes to uh, certain games, Toilet. like. I know I saw one video about from somebody who talked about how playing through Dark Souls legitimately cured their depression. That's interesting. Was that rad? Um, uh, no, but... <laughs> I'm gonna... Well, I guess maybe it caused it, actually. He was very sad when it ended. Um, I'm gonna say that's a nine. Because it looks like this. You get what I'm, you get what I'm slaying? You picking up what I'm putting down? Kind of. I kind of get it. We're going to go with nine. All right. Trial Pastor and error. Does... Pastor, does Nikki need therapy? Huge. Probably. Oh, my God. <laughs> it was the first number. 
Now I have a key. What is this fucking key for? Well, it's not gonna be for that. Opens the neighbor vault. Ah! Uh, you'll never see me. Get, the door didn't close. <laughs> you'll never see me. <laughs> I just realized, yeah, it's literally 1984. That's so funny. Am I missing donations? Yeah, damn it. Guys, stop being generous. <laughs> I need a neighbor. Oh my god. Okay, thank you, chat. I do. I appreciate all the donations. I really do. Um, thank you, Nova Commander, for the five dollars. Add. Hang on. I hang on. Hold the hold the fuck up. Add thick brungus to the table, or put it on someone's head. Sure. Thank you, Night Killer, for the five dollars. Uh, literally search up random shit and take the first image that catches your eye. Okay. Thank you for the five. Thank you, Wumpley, for the five. Put the guest on the desk. Thank you, Jill of All Trades, for the six. Hello again, if it is much trouble, would you kindly add the 2018 Predator movie poster? Is that one of the good ones or bad ones? I hate you. Is that the really bad one? That was the movie that took the place of my least favorite film of all time until I watched Ring Spiral and I found a new favorite least a new least favorite movie of all time. Alright, well I'll be sure to put it right next to you then. Because <laughs> I'm a great friend. While the stream was crashing, I did notice the stream has already been demonetized, so I'm gonna go with the one that says fuck on it for the random shit one. The stream's already been demonetized? I don't- I don't know. You know how- you know how it's like kind of a joke? How no matter what I do in my videos, I just never get demonetized? Like, the 9-11 video is fully monetized, the school shooting video is fully monetized. My streams are always auto-demonetized, no matter what I do. I don't know what I- I don't know. <laughs> It's probably because I mentioned something related to non-binary people and YouTube's bigoted or something. So true. Everyone... That's <laughs> that's my opinion, at least. Also, what is Thick Brungus? That's something I need to find out now. Wait. It's one of the peepees? From item label? Huh? I'm, I'm being so real with you. Hang on. Chat. <laughs> I'm not even... I'm not even kidding. Hang on, I gotta get a PNG of it. How the hell is the stream already demonetized? I'm telling ya. I'm Everything telling I ya. do. Guys, it's one of the peepees. Look at, look at, uh, 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 the fucking thick brungus. They're so scrunkly. I might have to turn off desk. <laughs> Because we're still at the start. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and this game's like... This game's like six hours. It's... Yeah. A chat... That's... I'm gonna put everything that people just did for. Where's my... Where's my desk graphic? Goodbye. Okay, we'll add that last one. Okay. Thank you for the generosity. I appreciate it. And feel free to donate, of course, if you can afford it and want to. I think we're done with the desk, just so I can actually play the game. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Okay, I need I, I need the guest. Um, I looked up the guest thinking the Hello Neighbor thing would come up first. Um, <laughs> the guest from Hello Neighbor. Um... Sephiroth Amiibo. I forgot that existed. Can we pay for a Sephiroth Amiibo? Yep. Okay, okay, while you're getting that, chat, I've got a story to tell about my Sephiroth Amiibo. Oh, yeah. Okay. Jesus Christ. So, after uh, after finishing Final Fantasy VII, I became a hardcore Sephiroth main in Smash Bros. Not to toot my own horn, but I'm pretty good at him. Um, and I bought two Sephiroth Amiibos, one for training and one for display that I keep in the box. And I... When it comes to training amiibos, I'm a bit of a perfectionist. Um, I am very obsessive with creating like crazy difficult raid boss amiibos for my friends to fight. And I wanted this Sephiroth amiibo to be the ultimate raid boss amiibo I train. Uh, I used, he, he wears the shirtless cosmetic. His name is Mama's Boy. And I reset <laughs> him collectively six times while training him before he got to the point I was happy with. However, I finished training him last night, and I was in a group call with a bunch of my friends fighting Mama's Boy, 
Do you want to know what the best somebody did against him was? What? Wait, what? I wasn't take, take a guess. Um, take, no, take, so take no a one guess. beat take him. A guess. I, I take it. No, no. Take a guess what the <sighs> best what the best attempt at fighting Mama's boy was. Uh, I... It was. We were playing three stock matches, by the way. Okay. Did they kill three him once, boy. twice, maybe? The record against Mama's boy was getting him to eighty percent. Wait. So they didn't kill him. They didn't even take a stock off of him. The the record was getting him to eighty percent. I see. Which then initiated his spirit I had equipped on him that made it so he did more damage at critical health and then he killed them immediately after. So, um, you know, not to toot my own horn, but uh, Mama's Boy the Sephiroth amiibo is the most powerful thing I've ever created. <laughs> and you want to know what the best part is for the people in chat who know what I'm talking about? Here's the best part about him for people that played Final Fantasy VII. Um, his, his spirit he has equipped is an auto heal and one that makes him stronger at critical health. In order for him to get the auto heal spirit, I had him consume an Aerith spirit. Those of you who've played the game know what I, know why I did that. That is all I'll say. Let's get to do Hello Neighbor. <laughs> okay. Okay, I need scissors. I don't think I can do anything with this key unless I get scissors. And I don't think scissors are in the house, because I swear I can't fucking find them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I know. Okay. So... This key is not for... The key is not for the basement door. And I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure there's nothing else on the first floor, because this is just, you know, open. Hi. Calm down, buddy. It's gonna be okay. Let's get off I the like property people line. people in chat saying that I only embody Clyde's like character traits when I'm training amiibos. Thank you, Mr. Maniac, for the $7 base Sephiroth main. <laughs> I love playing Sephiroth so much. Also, I cannot for the life of me remember where that key goes, so I'm not going to be, be of much help. I assume it's for the top of the stairs, because I was supposed to go to the top of the stairs before getting it, I'm pretty sure. I need skizzers. I don't know where skizzers can be found. I'm pretty sure there's an invisible wall here. Yes. Did you try using it on just the multiple locks on that basement door? There are no like, try... locks. No, 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 in the house. Like I know we uh, I know we ignored it uh, because of the fact that uh, there was multiple locks. But did you check if it unlocked all of them? Do you mean this? Yeah. This is the front door. Ha! Ah! Oh, that's just. Oh, I thought that was a basement door. My bad. Nah, yeah, I, that's why I'm pretty sure I need to get. I need to uh, get upstairs. I'm pretty sure. Uh, okay, fuck it. Okay, can I... Because I, I will I will let you know that uh, there are people in chat who are throwing a hissy fit over the fact that you're not apparently seeing a basement door. Really? Okay. Yeah, so I, I feel like there is a door in there you're just not seeing that's locked. Um, okay. Hi, that's you. Okay. Yeah, it should be, I think, in the living room. This is it. I got one of them. You got one lock. Okay, great. I think you missed a donation by the desk before it got removed. Which of these did I not do? I did ring spiral. Wait, did somebody ask for Ring Inver Spiral? Yep. The hell are you? Y'all are so mean. Two plush. Okay. 
Ember. Ember. Oh, I love them. They're my favorite. Holy shit. They're wearing a Clyde costume. That's what I'm gonna call that. There's a cat in this game? Why is there a cat in this game? Okay, well, we're basically out of room, so I'm gonna put it on my head. Because <laughs> I love them. They're so scrunkly and fat. There we go. I think the guest has a cool design. I like it. It looks guest. like it looks like the neighbor's persona. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'm I mean, I guess you can just tell me if I'm right or wrong with this. I'm going to assume I'm supposed to go somewhere else for keys now because I know there's like different levels in the game or some shit. There are different levels, yes. But, like, the house is still the main focus. Yeah. What's up here? Nothing. Okay. I like the sound that trampoline makes. That is a very funny sound. Treehouse. Right. Okay, now we do some platforming. Always love to see that. I actually, I never got to actually play Hello Neighbor 2. I've always been watching someone else play it. Is the platforming better? Like, are you forced to commit to one direction whenever you jump still? Or are you able to, like, strafe in the air? Mm, kinda. Yeah, I'd say it's better. It's very similar, okay. though. It's still very similar. I like it. If there's a lot of platforming in this game, I'm not going to be a big fan. Because I remember whenever oh, I played the original the Hello Neighbor, it? it was actual torture because when you it's jumped, not your character bad. lost all control in the air. Definitely doesn't feel as bad now. Okay, this is some shit. Do I put this on you? I do. Okay. Let's go. You're so it. epic now. Am I supposed to pose you in a specific way? Here. Okay. That seems about right. Yay! I got a lever switch thingy. Fuck. Why didn't you do the thing? Okay. Uh, uh, right trampoline. Pastor, who did you main before Sephiroth? King K. Rule. Right, yeah. I played K. Rule before I played Sephiroth because I only like characters that- Okay, wait, that there's nothing left here. Okay, we're leaving. Play like heavyweights. I like heavyweight characters in Smash. Um, that's that's why I took the Sephiroth so well after I started playing him, because he has the moveset of a heavyweight. Okay, I think I'm, I'm pretty sure I missed something over there. Wonk, wonk. I do like this sound. It's very funny. It's very satisfying. Yeah, that reminds me. Shout out to whenever I was doing Lethal Company on Asher's channel and I spent the majority of the stream dropping a key on the ground because I liked the sound so much. Uh. Okay. What good does this do for me? It's not the ladder you want to focus on in here. did something. It caused leaves to happen. The problem with Smash Bros. is that there's no playable evil robots in it. Rob is right there. Play him like he's evil. Play what? as black and red Rob. <laughs> I think Rob players are evil. <laughs> so there you go. When will you stream with Phil Syphiliznom? Uh, I played Lilo Company with him. You can go watch his VOD. I don't know if I'll ever be on another Phil stream. Maybe one day, if the time calls for it. See, the difference between someone like me and someone like Zach or David Barron or Oh uh, Yeah is they all have, like, a field of expertise or, like, certain games that they're good to have on for. I don't have that. Like, Zach is perfect for, like, Resident Evil things um, and 
other games that they're really passionate about as well. David, you know, like, for example, recently he was on Phil's Welcome to the Game stream. That happened. Um, uh, yeah, is good for Friday Night Funkin'. Um, <laughs> I don't have, like, a game I'm known for or a type of game I'm known for, except for Ban Ban, which Phil will never do again. Definitely not. Well, I mean, I guess for 200k, he's doing the mascot horror subathon. But, yeah, there's just, like, there's no need for me to, uh, there's no need for me to, um, uh, be invited specifically onto a stream. Um, but yeah, why are the, there's a thing. I was like, why isn't it in my hand? Wait, is that what this was fucking for? That's so yes, funny. Holy shit. That's what it was for. That's so funny. The trade funny. had the scissors. I couldn't grab it. <laughs> no, it was, it was moving too quick. Okay. That's funny. All right. Wait. Nope. Now you can, now you can enter the, the, the stair. Now go I go stair. Go upstairs. Okay, so I was supposed to do that earlier. <laughs> Yay. I hear footsteps. I'm gonna hide. Hi. Good, good move. <laughs> When's the neighbor coming to smash? That Honestly, sounds really when? funny out of context. <laughs> okay, okay. Here's 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 my uh here's my vision. Right. Nintendo releases new console. New console gets a port of Smash Ultimate onto it instead of a new Smash game, and they do the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe style thing where they start adding DLC characters. The DLC characters we get, the neighbor, Baldi, the Ink Demon, <laughs> Freddy <laughs> Baldi Fazbear. Is a great idea. Oh my god. Uh, I can't hide in that. Okay. Ah! <laughs> you didn't see or hear a thing, you fool. You know, that reminds me too. Can I talk about how funny it is to me that uh, Waluigi fans never got a Smash rep and probably never will? Yeah. Because, like, I remember every single time a new fighter got announced, they were like, oh, it's going to be Waluigi, and it literally never was. Never, never. And it's, it's never going to happen now, yeah, I don't think so. Hi, Tigera, number one Waluigi fan. I find it funny that you never got Waluigi in Smash. I don't understand why I didn't, because out of Mario, Luigi, Wario, and Waluigi, I think Waluigi could easily have the most interesting moveset. Oh, absolutely. I, I always thought it'd be kind of cool if they added him and, um, you know, his entire moveset was themed around all the spin-off games. Oh. Yeah. Give him a tennis racket, make his side be like the freaking Wario motorcycle, but he gets in a freaking cart. Yeah, it'd be fire. He was only really made for tennis originally, so I mean. Yeah, it'd be really fun if he was all like the spin off games as a rep. Also, I like Piranha Plant, thank you, but goddamn. He's so far if this guy left, okay. I still remember there was this one comic that somebody made where Waluigi got invited to Smash Bros and he saw Daisy crying because she didn't get invited and he gave his invitation to her and I like to think that's the actual canon thing that happened. Also, yeah, you need to find an object okay. that you can place on that. I assume it won't simply be in this sort of high. You'll never see me here. Come on, man. You didn't have to look here. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have to have spatial awareness. <laughs> uh, nah, nah. Neighbor's final smash is that he buddy. throws you into the basement and says goodbye, neighbor. Literally great idea. Bro, yeah, and it's it's already clear. Like, every secret neighbor skin can be the alts. Okay. Exactly. Oh, oh an unreal process has crashed. God damn it. <laughs> Close without sending. It's probably my oh. bad. 24 hour stream. <sighs> Man. We might have to do two Hello Neighbor streams where only half the game gets played. Honestly, yeah. 
Because at the rate you and I are playing it, and with the technical difficulties, we're probably going to be at it for a while and need to split it up. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah, sorry, chat. Blame me. <laughs> it's blame me. Uh, okay. Well, the great thing about Hell Neighbor, and this applies to even the first game, is it's very charitable with its saving system. <laughs> Mm-hmm. It's just like a typical thing in a lot of mascot horror games, like, is the fact that they actually have very, very kind saves. Yeah. And except then there's for... security breach. Yeah, it, it's like... All of the big ones are the ones that don't. Like, po I, they fixed it, for the most part. But Poppy Chapter 3's checkpoint system was really jank. It made no fucking sense at all. <laughs> mm-hmm. Did closing that door fucking alert him? <laughs> You're not streaming anymore. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> I hate everything. I cannot see it. There you go, buddy. You can see it. Thank you. Neighbor, or, not neighbor. Police officer, I leave. At... What'd you say? People in chat are saying it's my fault. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm just talking about random shit to fill the void. It's okay, I'm buddy. not it's doing okay. anything. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Okay. Be better, Pastor. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? What, what is this? Oh, it's a piece of a picture. <laughs> Yeah, you've got to complete a photograph to do one of the puzzles. Okay, that's nice. Is there anything this oh, room my... I can pick up? My dogs are freaking out. I believe my family is home with my junior chicken. Yeah, I knew that wasn't going to be heavy. Okay, I'm just going to come yeah, no. back later, I guess. I need something big. Something large. Something large. Hi. Um, you'll never catch me in here. I'm gonna hide anyway. <laughs> but isn't Lankman the one that glitches stuff? That's right, Lankman is destroying the stream. Lankman is destroying the stream because he hasn't appeared in a video recently. <laughs> okay, you're still there. Interesting. Um, this is huge. I have a junior chicken now. Yay. Oh my god, and my family brought me a large fry too. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> Okay, so oh, my fat ass is so hungry wait. right now. <laughs> yes, Zach, Zachary giggles next. Known fat person, definitely. Hi. Oh, yeah. All 150 pounds of me. Zach, I have a question about this puzzle, if you remember. Do you mm -hmm. know for the pressure thing, the pressure plate thing? Mm -hmm. Is it a specific object it's looking for, or is it just something that'll weigh it down? It needs something specific. Oh, fuck sake. If I recall okay. correctly, it needs, like, a dumbbell. Okay. Like, something that's, like, like an obviously heavy object. Like an actual weight. Okay. Yes, Thank yes. Thank you, S5, for the $2. I appreciate it. Um, I'm pretty sure it's, like, a dumbbell. Okay. What, huh? Also, hold on, give me one second. I'm gonna get some ketchup for my McDonald's fries. <sighs> that was really funny. Um, okay. So I need to look for a weight. Did I see that somewhere? I don't think I did, but maybe I did. I'm not known to remember things. Like, ever. Hi. You didn't see this. You didn't- you didn't see me! Okay. Oh, 
Okay, well, now you saw me. <laughs> God damn, fuck this guy. Okay. I return. You return. Okay. I need a dumbbell. I need a bell with a low IQ. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The dumber, the better. Exactly. Fuck this guy. I hate this guy. Mods, kill this guy. Mods, meet this guy, Batman. Exactly. See, I don't know if he's still in the room or not. I can't tell. You still hear him grunting and groaning. Oh, yeah, there he is. Ran by like a Scooby-Doo character. I hear grunting sounds. Hi. What the fuck was that? What you giggling about, bitch? What's so funny, asshole? I'm I'm tired of sitting here. Fuck this guy. Can someone repeat Pastor's full name? Because it sounds like a Bug Snacks reference, and I just want to be sure. Yeah, it's you think my name is a game reference. Yes. Like my legal name? Absolutely. My God. The fuck? Okay. That's not weird at all. Where was the crowbar? Oh, I threw the crowbar on a roof. <laughs> but that was a long time ago, so I don't know if it's the same one. Wow, this is an interesting predicament I found myself in. Oh. Where's my... No, oh, I guess I don't have it now. Okay. I don't remember how you get the rest of that photo, but... What's this connected to? Why is it connected to anything? Oh, wait, is this... Okay, it's gonna, like, move this or some shit? Okay. I got this. I... I'm hearing a lot of sound. Why were you alerted? What did I do? What sound could I have made? <laughs> I was just generally paranoid. <laughs> Fam, leave me alone. I beg of you. Is that the... That's the thing. I see the thing. That's the thing. It's up. Also, shout out to the fact that you actually do have to do stealth in this game this time around. True. That is nice. Um... Buddy. Go do something else. What? He's what's like, okay? Oh, okay. There he goes. Oh, I can climb shit. Hi. It was me the whole time. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. You can. 
And there you go. Um, um, hi. <laughs> what did he do what? to me? <laughs> he grabbed me by the legs! Like, well, I was gonna say, like, he swept under you and grabbed your legs, the freak! <laughs> Fuck this guy. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Fuck off, man. Just leave me alone. <laughs> Okay, what is this? Oh, I got another fucking piece of this. Yoink, yoink. Okay. There you go. I guess I've made progress. He has glasses? Interesting. Since when did Theodore need glasses? Is that in the lore? Someone get map hat on this. Oh wait. Is there a way I can like make noise in here? Oh wait, all these fucking things. Um This is fucking clock. Okay, so I need more of those. How do I obtain more of those? I can cut this. Oh. Great. Hi. Okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this guy is... mean. Be nice if he uh nice if he uh, looked the other way. Would be would be fire. Okay. Okay, I think that's either one or two more left. Mm -hmm. I love the random squeaky toys that you can run through like a trap. Okay, he didn't listen to them. Okay, I think he's going to him. Um. I don't know if the crowbar is needed for this, but it would definitely be nice. Okay, I need this again. Hi. She'll never see me. <laughs> He'll never see and me. And he actually won't. This is huge. He actually won't. Okay, I don't know what this is for. I haven't seen, like, a missing... Like, where I usually put the levers. I haven't seen anything like that in a bit. Let me cut that. Why would I? Okay, I don't think it means anything, though. Um, there's something with this. Oh, I need a battery for this. To get a key, which I totally can't just grab. Hi. Fuck. <laughs> I thought for a second you actually managed to I thought I could. I mean, I technically did, but I wouldn't have been able to get through there in time. Hi. Okay, I stole my skizzers. Oh. You okay there? Enough over my pills. Oh no! You need those. Oh wait. Okay, I need to find a fucking crowbar. Maximum jukage right there. Um, okay, where did I start? I have no idea. Which place is my place? <laughs> Which home is my home? It was, like, down the street, okay. Um. Pastor, I heard they retconned the events from the books, but took the lore from the books in the main canon, like the Force Keepers. Sure, I will pretend I know what you're talking about. Uh, it was either the Meatly... No, it was both the Meatly and Mike, whatever his name is, uh, said the Bendy books are no longer, or never were, canon to the games. 
and people had mixed oh. feelings. People had a lot of mixed feelings on that. So the forest keepers are from the books, and I just didn't know that. <laughs> I guess. Which house is mine? I don't know. <laughs> I'm homeless, chat. So what is the, what the hell is it with, what the hell is it with like indie developers making books that explain the lore and then say they're not canon? Like what the hell is the point of the books then? Fun little side stories. I don't fucking know. It's the thing. Like I, it's, I have to go back. I have to go up. I um, really hope that uh, like yeah, one day indie developers will process it that, you know, it's not good writing to say that something isn't canon, but then take concepts from those non-canon books and include them in your canon material. Because, like, yeah. all that does is confuse people. Here Just give a definitive yes or no. Yeah, you're totally right. I mean, I think, um... Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know... Right, I forgot I can feel pain. Um, yeah, I don't know what their reason for making those books non-canon, because to my knowledge, they just, like... To my knowledge, they didn't even overlap with the games that much. They just, like, provided some additional story and additional context to certain things. I don't know, I, I, I've heard the Bendy books are really good. Yeah, I've heard good things, but, like... I just don't get why it's so hard to either definitively say... Yes, these books are canon. Or, no, these books are not canon. Because, like, I see people in chat saying that Scott Cawthon did it. Can you find me somebody who actually likes theorizing about the FNAF books and their canonicity with the main games? People do it, but do people enjoy it? Wait, is that a fuck? fun discussion to have? What the f- what is this? That's why it's a Resident Evil- it's a Resident Evil book code. You were up the stairs! Okay. Um... <laughs> What the fuck is that? Okay, I solved the crowbar. Does anyway. Demuted, okay, look, Demuted does theorize a lot about the books, but I don't think Demuted likes the fact that it's questionable whether the books <gasps> are canon or not. <gasps> There's some way how many things are there. What the fuck? Okay. Uh, no, yeah, people... People... Yeah, further, I, I know what you're trying to say. People like theorizing about the series, whether or not the books are canon... People do not like having that debate, though. Oh, hey, demuted in chat. Hey, Noah, Noah, am I right about that? Do you enjoy the arguments about whether or not the books are canon? If you or do say you just wish we got a concrete answer on that? If you say the word parallels around demuted, he'll actually pop a blood vessel. Hi, Johnny Blux. They made a game about the TV show? <laughs> they did. Johnny, we're playing Doors tomorrow. Isn't that huge? Um, hi, there are you. Okay, so there's a fucking puzzle there. There's something here. Oh, I can take it. What is this fucking thing? <laughs> what is happening? I'm just waiting for... I'm waiting for the message in chat from Demuted that either uh, says, Yeah, I think the books are fine, or I hate myself. I think both are true. It's one of the two when it comes to FNAF theorizing. Okay, so this is a thing. I, I wish can... we had a more concrete answer. I hate parallels. There you go. There you go. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. Cause like, oh, cause you 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 play friggin'. Also, yeah, that that device is really weird. It confused me whenever Phil played the game too. But um, yeah. you play like Ruin, for example, and everyone was like, oh yeah, the Tales from the Pizza Plex books are questionably canon. And then the mimic showed up, Here's... which undeniably confirmed that stuff in those books are canon. But now nobody can agree about what is canon. And of course, yeah, oh, wait, I thought about it. And he does a little Tom and Jerry shrug gif. I did not want to do this. Okay, thanks. Fuck. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. It's fine. I got all the pieces to the puzzle. <laughs> I got all the pieces to the picture. Fuck off! Get a life. Why would Scott Coffin write the same story twice, but slightly different for the benefit of the theorists? Yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. Why would he do that? 
It makes no sense. It's not fun to theorize about that at that point. It's just stupid. Hey, Zach. Yeah? When's DOAI getting a book? Uh, probably never. Hi there, you. <laughs> I don't think I'd ever make a book about it. He's like, I think I see something there. And if I did make a book, I would undeniably confirm the canonicity of it. No, no, no. You gotta Although, leave no mysterious. matter what I say, my fans will probably ignore it, knowing how people interact with the series currently. They're just special. Oh, wait, I got another key. Because, like, cause like, you know, I have outright said what is not an is canon, but I still see people use it for theories. Okay, I got two of the locks down. Um, don't know what now. Hi. God, I'm so neighbor pilled right now. Rock Collin is not gonna write a story about a mimic at the Pizza Plex as a parallel to the mimic at the Pizza Plex. It's just the same guy. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm happy that I was right about my assumption about how much this drives him nuts. Because, like, he's, he's freaking out in chat face. over this now because I brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> this is exactly what I knew would happen. Yeah, because you asked the only person that would actually care about this. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy he was in chat. Because <laughs> it just proves my hate. point that FNAF's hate. theorists hate this. I did not stop lock the game. I did not. Nope, I refuse to believe. Nope. Come on. Get out of here. Okay. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I got stuck in I something say, there's here. There's no way that <laughs> got... walking into that object slightly is a soft lock. <laughs> I got stuck somewhat there. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm doing this either. I just saw a nice tape and I felt like destroying it. I mean, sometimes it's fun just to run around and do stuff like that. Okay. So, I have half the locks down. I also found a thing that looks at cameras. Like FNAF. Um, hi. Oh my god, we were just talking about that. This is low-key why I don't want to do theories that often anymore. It's not fun. Yeah, dude. I do, I do not even blame you. I do not even blame you. Do a DOAI I theory. Yeah. Do, do, well, he, he's got to wait well, for yeah, one to come out. Yeah, he can't but... right now because he knows too much. He, he, knows, he knows too much and there's also no material to work with at the moment. You got volume zero. I spent two fucking hours looking at one frame of that video and not even looking for the right thing. That is also true. I <laughs> I felt I felt so bad whenever I finally told you what the detail was and you realized like <laughs> it was it was like a kind of cool detail, but it was nothing like game changing to learn. No, it was cool, but like Yeah, it didn't I guess yeah, it didn't, it didn't change anything. <laughs> Yeah, because you were expecting some kind of, like, cool Easter egg, when in reality it was just a consistency between two, like, visual formats that told you you were watching spliced what? together pieces of a single tape. Fuck you. I really want yeah. to need to do a band band theory, don't we all? When I drop volume one, though, hey, I am. Mean, I'd be open to theories when I drop volume one, I'm just saying. I'm not gonna stop nobody. Also, yeah, you you can, that's the property line! On it. I distinctly remember, I distinctly remember Demuted's video uh, where he made his theory about DOAI because I remember how frustrated I was reading the comments because he had a theory that was based entirely on the material I had currently released for the series and everyone was telling him he was wrong because of material that I stated multiple times wasn't canon. <laughs> I remember that clear as day, everyone in the comments oh. was like, yeah, you're actually wrong about this because this, 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 this happened in this lore that Pastor specifically stated is not canon and has no impact on the actual story. But you're still wrong about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, excuse me. Dying over here. I'm just... Don't don't ask what I'm doing, because I don't, I don't have an explanation. It, it, it's, it's okay, I understand. <laughs> Experimentation is important. Thank you, Coco Gojira, for the $5. Found a boxy boo blue bootleg in a place. However, they had it at least $70. Replace pasta PNG as an actual pasta. Will not be doing that. Well, actually, I mean, Zach can do that if they want to. Um, <laughs> but... 
I, I will not. You found a $70 blue boxy boo. I just remember this. I am smarter than you. <laughs> Thank you, Demuted. This is gonna bite me in about two days. Oh, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Yeah, that's just a fucking block. What the fuck? I got a doll! Um, great? Wait, house. House. Hi. I was playing with my dolls, you dick! <laughs> Are you guys excited for season two of the Hell Neighbor series? I am very excited. Um, and ironically, yes. <laughs> Part of me not. Part of me wants to not watch them as they come out, so I could make another video on it. But I'm probably just gonna watch it as it comes out, because chances are it won't be as exciting video-wise the second time around. Yeah, because you uh, see, I feel like the I feel like the main okay, so like appeal of that video was the fact that we liked it, but we weren't expecting to. But with yeah. season two, the quality of the show's already been established. <laughs> It'll just be, let's go, we get to watch cartoons for views. Let's go, we get to watch this cartoon Child for, and for, Peterson. for kids. But also is like, I don't know, I don't know if I... Like, the uncensored version of the show, I don't know if my family would have let me watch that whenever I was a kid. No, I don't think a responsible parent would. Because, like, it actually gets surprisingly dark for what I believe to be a, a children's show. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it wasn't, the yeah. Uncensored one isn't that different, so I don't care that much that we didn't watch it, but, yeah, it definitely, yeah, wouldn't be, I, I would say, unsafe for kids. Like, um, it's, it's, it's a weird sort of in-between where, like, for a horror fan, it's, like, not that intense yeah, or that of big of a deal, but when you're, like, a little kid who I assume is the target demographic of the show, it is, like, so morbid. Yeah, I can't, I genuinely, that's the thing, that's the main thing I would say about Hell and Neighbor in its current state, is I cannot tell what demo they're trying to garner. I, I cannot for the life of me figure it out. It's very Yeah, that's confusing. the weird thing. Because, like, Hello Neighbor, you'd assume, is strictly for little kids. Because, like, you know, it's got, that, uh, it's got that very kid-friendly art style. Um, a lot of its horror is very tame. But then there's just stuff like what we saw in the TV show that, like, goes beyond what kids should be seeing. And you're kind of left to wonder, like, what is the target demographic here? Okay, buddy, calm down. Let's talk about this. Bro was ready to <clears throat> ambush you. He is sick of you. I need to figure out what that fucking thing is. Uh-huh. Did you figure out what the code was at any point? I have no idea what it is. God damn it, I was falling. <laughs> he caught me. Um... This dick. Look at this dick. Fuck you. I think the books get kind of dark too, but I haven't read them. Yeah, I don't know anything about the Hello Neighbor books. To um, my knowledge, the books and show are very similar. Mm-hmm. Um, but I also do you really play know. as a BuzzFeed journalist in this game? You, you play as a, a you play as a journalist who's investigating uh, Mr. Peterson kidnapping people. I swear to God, if this works. Damn it. Okay, no. <laughs> well, that would have worked in Bendy, which means this game it, is better than Bendy. Well, it would have worked in Bendy because the NPCs are physically incapable of opening doors. That's not what I meant, but you're right, actually. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. <laughs> you close a door in their face and they just, like, cannot fathom yeah. the concept. Mr. K. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! I'm like, there's probably even more paintings I can interact with them. Question. What the fuck is going on with Discord? For me. When I try to open Discord, it says a JavaScript error has occurred. I don't, I don't know what that means. In the context of Discord, I don't know what that means. 
and I can't get I can't get past respect back. I I joined on the web version, but they're just no they're nothing. They're nowhere to be seen. Maybe I can get them. Hang on. Maybe I, if I re-add it, I can get Clyde on screen. Oh no, you just can't. Okay, you you just can't do that with the web version. What the fuck? Am I to reinstall? Do I have to uninstall and reinstall Discord? <laughs> Is that what I have to do for this? Yeah, things are not going great in the neighborhood. I apologize for all the difficulties. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what's going wrong. That was a thing. I would love to like. I'd love to apologize and then fix Return. it. I have no idea. Hello. Um, Hello. Are we back? We're back on stream. The Discord's just broken, though. For me. Oh. I don't know why. We're semi-back. We're semi-back. Um, Discord. I don't, I don't know. I don't know why I'm having so many problems. Because, like... Yeah, why is it the Hello Neighbor stream that's been having all the technical difficulties? I see no reason why this game would be, like, harder to stream than, like, Poppy Chapter 3. Or, yeah. Or the insanely unoptimized Mask of Horror games I normally play. I was gonna say, like, Poppy Chapter 3 has one of the worst optimized, like, moments from any mascot horror game, and you didn't have this many issues with it. Yeah, that's true. The fucking dream sequence that killed David's stream, like, every time. <laughs> killed Wait. mine, too. Oh, did it? It did, yeah, it's never had, it's oh, ne yeah. it never did anything for me. It turned my stream into a slideshow to the point where even, like, the Fujitech avatars were, like, lowered in frame rate. That's actually incredible, yeah. Hang on, I think I fixed Discord one second. Hang on. Zachary, Zachary. Hello. Clyde, come on, please. Clyde. Clyde, please. Clyde won't appear. Clyde! They're back! No! Hi! It's me! <laughs> yeah, I, I... Someone said it's the guest. Yeah, sounds all right. Yeah, I don't... I don't know. I, I've never heard of optimization problems with this game. And... This game is causing me way more problems than any VR title did, than Poppy Chapter Three did, than any any of the, any of the more any of the more objectively high quality games in this one. I don't... Do you think it's just some kind of a? Do you think it's just some kind of issue like outside of the actual game? I feel well. I feel, yeah, I feel like it must be. I just don't know what it would be. Because yeah. yeah, like I don't see why Discord. Sorry, Discord. I don't see why Hello Neighbor Two would cause. Discord to have a JavaScript error making me have to uninstall and reinstall the software. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. <laughs> yeah, no. Chat, should we give it one more attempt at <laughs> this fucking game? <laughs> Alright. Chat, here's what we're gonna do. Okay. Um, is your OBS updated? Huh. I don't know if it's the latest update. I guess that's... that might cause that issue. But well, what about the stuff with Discord? Disc. I have no idea what happened with Discord. I'm so. I'm so amazed by that. Um. Someone said how FNAF SB got an award, but not Bendy in the Dark Revival. What did Secure Rich get an award for? Yeah, I was gonna say what the hell. <laughs> what award did Secure to Rich earn? Um, anyway. Um, okay. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna... I don't think it's the game. I don't think it's the game, but we're gonna... We're gonna change the settings to low. This looks very funny. I'm gonna play... I'm gonna see if... Um, no, it's not my internet because it's my PC. My PC is having issues. I just don't know why. Because... It because it, 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 again, I, I don't know. I, I didn't have this problem with other games. Um, okay, I'm going to put the game to low settings. I'm going to try to play it again. <laughs> mm -hmm. And if it doesn't work, we're going to have to end stream, I guess. 
Um, but what I will do is, um, a lot of you will probably watch this one and not the next, so apologies for that. But what I will do is, I will carry over, uh, desk placement thingies to my next stream. Just because I don't think it's fair that you guys donated to have things placed for a short and broken stream. So, that's what I will do. Um, mm -hmm. let's, let's give it a fucking go. On my hands and knees begging right now. I'm Please, begging. Mr. Peterson, work with us here. Yeah, I blame Theo. Um. Goes back to Theo. Where was I? What was I do? I need the, I need the goddamn code for the painting thing. Hi, buddy. Get this fucking thing. I need this. You. Yes. You. Um, where would you... Where would you even begin to find that? You Never. didn't see anything, like, on the wall that was misspelt with three letters. <laughs> oh, was there... Wait, so. wait, wait. Was there something on, like, the fridge? Oh. There's an eyeball. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't help. <laughs> Not really. I understand this, though. Yeah, I got the doll. I remember that. I got the doll. Is this meant to be his kids? Probably. I'm assuming that's supposed to be his family. Probably. Did the TV have something on it? N O T. Yeah, they are red. They are highlighted red. Hi. All right, I'm gonna run outside real quick. Hope that's okay. Apparently, the Shadow Man is confirmed for season two of Hello Neighbor. Oh, yay, my favorite shoehorned in character. Who the fuck is the Shadow Man? In the original Hello Neighbor, do you remember the random Shadow Man that just started appearing for no reason? He was in the background of some cutscenes and he was the final boss of Hello Neighbor 1. Oh, that's who that is? Oh. Yeah, okay. that's the Shadow Man. Huh. Interesting. He sucks. This guy won't leave me alone. He's mean. Zach, he's being mean. I know. I understand. Hi. I think you're good. Let's go! A crowbar, I already have that. Okay. Child. Child, why I have obtained do, child. Why does Theodore have toy replicas of his entire family? Yeah, it's a little strange, but I mean... I guess throwing kids in your basement is also strange, I, though. Hi, don't mind me. Just had to place that there. <laughs> just place that I just had to put that up. down, okay? All right, it, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Fuck you. Uh, I don't know. I just wait. That okay? That is where is that? I don't fucking remember now. Um, through here. Was it in this room? I don't remember, man. I know I got one of those. F fuck shit. Cock piss. People are saying it was under the bed, the thing you're looking for. I assume they mean the bed I moved? Yes, this. Hi. You'll never catch me alive. This poor police officer. <laughs> no, 
no, no, no. Just trying to do his we job, can't. and this crazy ass BuzzFeed journalist keeps breaking into that house and running around with a crowbar, placing things and doing puzzles. Fuck you. Hate, I hate cops. A cab, am I right? Fuck this guy. <sighs> Let me just. I, I also like that he just chucked you outside instead of doing anything. Yeah, you just arrest me. <laughs> Bro just rolls up and goes, stop it. The way the cops stood up reminds me of how the fucking xenomorphs unfurl themselves when they stand up. That poor cop is being compared to the xenomorph right now. And then David says, killer stash though. I mean, not wrong. What the fuck is this? Is this another camera? You, yeah, now you can now you can FNAF. I can FNAF? Like okay. There you go. Battery. Now I can car. Battery. Now you can car no, you don't use you don't use batteries like that for a car. Those don't power no, cars. No, this is the small car, the toy car. No. What do you what do you mean no? <laughs> I don't actually know. <laughs> You can't use those batteries on a car. You can't use those batteries on a car. Cars are bigger than that. God, that reminds me. Did you ever see the video of, like, this guy who's, like, filming, like, a car crash that happened? And suddenly this dude rolls up in this, like, tiny-ass little car, and he's driving it around the street. And the dude sees me and goes, Yo, what the hell? That thing runs on three AAA batteries. One of my favorite videos. That, I have not seen that, but that does sound great. It's so funny. This is in America, right? Chat said this takes place in Missouri. I don't know where that's confirmed or why, but yeah. Was that the sound of him walking on the things? It was. Yeah. He can't do anything about it, though. He's incapable of crouching. No. Ah. He's very upset about it. <gasps> that was weird. Um, he didn't listen to... Well, I can't make that go off? Okay. Can you leave? Fuck, where, what are you doing? There's nothing there. Stop looking around. You know where we went. Stop looking around. Are there no- <laughs> is there nothing I can trigger here? Fucking door. He's not Baldy. He might as fucking well be. Go away! There's nothing there! <laughs> Did they go under here? Oh no, there's no- YOU! How are you- I forgot where you went. I hate this guy. Huh? You! Okay, I I need, I need an audio thing. Can I? I guess I can do that. Ooh, and that'll give you an easier way in. Yes, yes, here. Me here. Why does the larger officer not simply eat the journalist, says the <laughs> mute <Mishkat. laughs> He's kind of right about that. It brought you a key! Thank you, car. That's so silly. It is silly. I kind of like it. Go. Also, yeah, people in chat are so right. This does feel like okay. the friggin' like, Mr. Oh. X library chat. Why did you- what? I didn't mean to do that. Okay, I'm, I got the fourth oh, and not the you third, can... apparently. That camera is so you can place it somewhere and then use that weird, yeah. like, Hi. Coco Melon iPad kid device <laughs> to look at it. Right, right, of course. Where would I want it, though? I don't know. Um, Anywhere you'd want to make sure he's I on the way. I feel, like, I feel like it's not very useful. <laughs> Why is this glowing? I am on wonky settings, so if things look weird, 
I'm not gonna blame the game. Yeah. Um. Okay, so... I missed the third block. Well, I'm not, I don't you missed the third block, but aren't you're also missing the uh, you're you're missing the uh, Mr. Peterson figure yes. for the house. Yes. So I'm assuming you need that to get the final key. Yeah, that makes sense. I just don't know how. So I must learn how. God damn you! I was I was I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to game, sir. Okay. I need Theodore. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think I can go up the ladder now. I don't know where it was. But I can do that now. The AI is a lot better than launch. The AI... I, I, okay, I've seen people in chat arguing about the AI in this game. The AI in this game is genuinely better than, like, most indie... Like, mo most, like, mascot horror games that are popular, if I'm being so real. It's been fine, yeah. Like, it's been a little weird AI at some points, but like, if we compare it to yeah, like the landscape, it's fine, yeah. If, if it's, it's actually it's good. <laughs> the AI in this game is genuinely better than like multiple games I can name off the top of my head. Like, security breach AI has nothing on this. Well, yeah. <laughs> Much as, I, as much as I love it, too, the Dark Revival, like, random enemies are also kind of dumb. Oh, the block was here. That's funny. Oh, okay. that's where it was. <laughs> funny how that is. And you know what? Well, we're th shitting on FNAF. <laughs> nah, I won't do it. I'm gonna do it. Hello Neighbor VR is literally Steel Wolf's second best game. Like... <laughs> Yeah, I remember you brought that up to me. I haven't seen Search and Rescue yet, but uh, like the animations from what I've seen are really nice. It's so... It, the game looks so nice. Unlike Help Wanted 1, which looks like AIDS. Like, yeah, uh, it looks Hello Neighbor VR shits on FNAF VR 1. Not 2, but 1. With that being said, I'm very much looking forward to Into the Pit, not even gonna lie. I really want that game. Yeah. <laughs> Demuted in chat just says, but I love it. <laughs> now he said FNAF sucks, but I love it. Oh. <laughs> oh. I, Which, I, you know what? I, I hear that. the first half. <laughs> I hear that. I recently, uh, Chad, I recently, and by recently, I mean, for sure it was yesterday. Oh, okay. I played, um, I played, uh, uh, Five Nights to Remember, the new Radiance Team game. And I'm not going to lie, like, I, I loved it, for one. I loved it. Oh my god, wait, wait, um, was that that old FNA was that that old Fredbear's fan game with the spider? Yes. Oh my god, I remember seeing a playthrough of that when I was very, very little. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's, the original game. that's the, aside from the Treasure Island remake remake, that is their last uh, game, I guess. Um, and it's really good. I really love it. And playing it... Um, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say this. It kind of reminded me a lot of, like, why I like, f why I ever liked FNAF in the first place. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm relapsing is what I'm saying. I'm, I'm, I have, I'm, my soft spot for FNAF is, is coming back a little bit. Especially because, like, I liked the movie a lot, and then Help Wanted 2 came out, and it was the first FNAF game I liked in, like, five years. And, yeah, playing, uh, Five Nights to Remember from Radiance kind of just... I don't know. It, it brought back... It, it's a new game, but it, like, brought back memories. Mm hmm I don't know. It was... It's... Ugh, where... I thought you were downstairs! There was, um... Did you ever think yeah. that, like... It looks like there was, like, a chained-up wardrobe in, like, the living yeah, room. Yeah, there is that. I have no idea how I would open that, but that is a thing. This fucking thing. 
Yeah. We I haven't really checked on that. What it wants. Oh. I don't think there. Yeah, I don't think you have a way of opening that. How are they still in the first house? I'll tell you already, because the stream has died so many goddamn times. <laughs> yeah, the stream has died a ridiculous amount of times, so we keep getting stalled. What alerted them? What alerted them? <laughs> what alerted them? Okay. Bro is bro just got that that that, that sixth sense. Yeah, all I need is, uh, I'm pretty sure all I need is the Theodore doll, and then we get out of here. Well, did you, did you complete the photograph yet? Yes. Okay. Uh, that was this. Right, 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 and that gave you... <clears throat> that yeah, gave me okay, one of the keys. Yeah, all I need so, yeah. is Theo, my man, that absolute chad. Oh. Hi. Hi. Mm. No, go in there. Uh, have you guys tried using the cameras yet? The cameras. I just um, don't see I what mean, the purpose would be in this case. Well, you have what? You have a couple by default. Check where those uh, show you. Okay, just How outside. How do I switch? There we go. Okay. Okay. Well, get those are me out of the house. <laughs> I find hey, it it's funny. me! I find it funny when I look at chat and everyone's trying to give advice, but nobody's advice is helping each other because I'm seeing other people arguing about said advice. Now I can't change cameras. Because somebody said, hey, try using the cameras, and now I'm seeing someone else in chat saying cameras are useless. <laughs> um, I, I can't change the cameras. Um, it was just A and D before, now I can't change them. Oh, the game crashed, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the game crashed, not the stream. We continue. <laughs> if the stream crashes, then goodbye. I'm looking at chat. Fucking... Go in the closet near the stairs. Sure, man. Why not? I assume they mean... I... I don't think they mean make, this. Make sure you're screen sharing. Fuck. I, for, I keep forgetting it closes things and stuff. I speak English. The moral of the story is not to use the fucking cameras. No, 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 no. You don't use the cameras except for Foxy's camera. You always gotta make sure you know where he, where Foxy is. Do they mean this? I don't see why they would mean this. I don't think they meant that one, no. By stairs. This is by stairs. Oh, wait, this is painting. Theo! Oh, there you go. You there chad you go. of a man. You absolutely. You giga chad, chad hiding behind a painting. <laughs> All right, chat. We're making it out of the neighborhood with this one. And there's the final key. Let's go. All right, let me leave. Make it out of the first level. Finally, Jesus Christ. Uh, okay. Is there anything we to look at in here? Toy Bonnie! Oh my god! <laughs> you. That motherfucker queer. can't count. What? Oh, Toy Bonnie can't count, and I like to bully him for it. What does that mean, Toy Bonnie can't count? Oh. It means that Toy Bonnie can't count. Okay. In special delivery, Toy Bonnie tries counting, and uh, oh. he fails miserably. <laughs> I love the spelling in this game. Wait, I'm not, I'm not even saying too. that as a joke. I really like it. Yay, I no, beat no, day same. one. God, this has been... <laughs> it's been very sad. It's 
simming. Heppel me. Please heppel me. Please <laughs> heppel! <laughs> Okay. Can I go across here or now? Or alternatively, you could HLEP! Nope. Still can't. So sad. And I'm trying to remember what the next level was. Was the next level the bakery? Uh, Chat, was the next level the bakery? The bakery is the one with the whammon. Yes! And, and her adorable cat. And there's also the hunter one. I don't know what else there is. Okay, it is the bakery. I'm excited. The bakery is my favorite. Because I think the bakery is very cute. Um. Not sure where I'm going right now. Just walking. We're going to a bakery! Ooh, or we can go into the mines. The mines! Go into the mines! The mines. What the fuck is this? Hello, mines. What? I've never seen this area what before. What is this? Actually. I don't think Phil ever went here. I don't... Oh. Oh. Hello. Yeah, no, this is entirely new to me. Phil and I never went here. I wonder if it was in the game at the time. Yeah, this might have been added later, because, yeah, this is all new to me. What is happening? This looks cool. Yeah, what is this? To pass. To pass. Sound effect? Oh, this is weird. I have no idea what's happening, but it's cool. I, I don't know what the sounds are. I assume... Wait. I what thing. was that? I saw a thing moving. Yeah, it, I saw a thing too. It was schmoving. Hello? Are you oh. the guest? Are you the guest? Are you the bird boy? I think that's the bird boy. Bird up. It is the bird boy. I think we I think we wandered somewhere where, somewhere we are not supposed to be. Oh, this is so cool though. It's cool. Oh, logs. Hi. That looks funny. Hello? This looks very so silly. He looks funny on low settings, I'll say that. Okay, I got logs. Can I pick up logs? I can't pick up logs. Why do I have logs? Why- I keep hearing the sounds. <laughs> Why were the logs unleashed? I'm so confused. Yeah, so is this like- is this like a side area you can do? I take it it's meant to be like a side quest kind of deal. I would assume. If the- well, I mean, if the game was beatable without it, then yeah. But... Bird! Bird, bird. I'm so birding up right now. Everyone in chat saying it's like a side quest. Okay. Cool. I assume I need to like. Yeah, there's enough power. Yeah, I need to like power up the place. Oh, did the game die? No, it didn't die. Oh. What died then? Hang on. Something died. Something definitely died. I can tell. Oh, OBS died, I think. Did it? The stream still... Stream still looks like it's up to me. Um... Chatters. Can you see the movement in the game? I'm, st I'm doing like a little circle. Is it... Can you see the movement? Yeah, yeah, it's visible. Oh, that's funny. Okay. So OBS is frozen on my end, but it's still working as intended. <laughs> okay, yeah. sure. I can work with that, I guess. <laughs> However, frame rate seems to have dropped. Bird! Wait, 
Hi. What? Hi. Hello. Talk to me, brother. I love you. Come here. Ow. Fuck. <laughs> what, what? Where am did, I? What the? Did I uh, die? Whoa. Where am I? You like teleported. Maybe this is where I spawn if I die. Cause I, if you fall too far, you do die, right? I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I think it, this might just be where you go if you die. Oh, this is so weird. I have cum and crowbar. Okay. Um. The two oh, wait. essentials. Oh, it's a bat. The two essentials. Battery. Okay, I need three batteries. Okay, I got wood. Wood, cum, and crowbars. What else do you truly need? Oh. I got assaulted Whoa. by a bird. I think. Probably. Oh, okay. So that was the respawn animation that we saw before. Yeah. Hi. Holy shit. Holy fuck. Hi. Hi. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh my god, it's like Monty's jump scare. It's like, it's like ruined Monty. <laughs> Someone said, whoa, you're in the forest already? Sh yeah, I definitely am at the end of the game and definitely knew that I was supposed to wait for this. Oh, yeah, of course. Um, it totally wasn't just available to us right away after the first area. Yeah, I'm probably meant to, like, throw this at... I don't know, is it, like, uh, normal, like, when you throw shit at the neighbor and he goes, Grah! do you throw shit at him? I'm not prepared for pastures. The guest is a puppy era. Nah, the guest... The guest doesn't itch my brain like Monty does. Okay, now he's not attacking me. Fuck you. He is the best design in this game, though. Yeah, I, I think the guest has plenty of potential as, like, a... Like an overarching villain. Because, like, it's implied... Okay, well... Keep in mind, Hello Neighbor fans, I know you're gonna get mad at me. Keep in mind, my knowledge of the lore is mostly basing it on the show. So... I'll probably be wrong about most things. But... I imagine it's, like... I'm pretty sure it's, like, implied that... Hi! That, like, um, the guest is controlling all of the villains that you, uh, or the antagonists, I don't know about villains, the antagonists that you encounter in, um, the, the series. I think it's meant to be implied the guest is controlling them and causing them to do the bad things. Uh-huh. He's very mean. Yeah, I don't even know how he fucking saw me. I didn't leave the building. Can I hit him with this? Why is there a floating... Oh, you can... Because I'm assuming you can... Oh, do oh. I have to, like, board myself in? <laughs> board yourself in so the bird boy doesn't kill you? Astro, do you think Where the guest is a better villain than Vanny or the Mimic? I don't fucking know. I don't know anything about him. Yeah. The Mimic, probably not, but Vanny... I mean, barely a villain, so... <laughs> In its current state, I imagine the Mimic would probably be more... See... But... I mean, here... Okay, I'm, I, I don't want to talk about FNAF. Fuck it, I'll talk about FNAF. I really don't want to. Um, okay, I think this is telling me to pick up wood. I don't think it's showing me that I have wood. Yes, that is what's happening. Okay. Oh, and yeah, okay, and you're boarding yourself in. Ha! Ah, bird! Oh, he, there's another door! <laughs> there's two doors. <laughs> Um, okay, here's what I'll say about the Mimic. I think the Mimic is, like, kind of cool. I do think the Mimic is kind of interesting. My problem with the Mimic, and I've said this, is not that, like, like some people will say, oh, they fucking retconned the series. I don't think that's true. Um, oh, they just shoehorned it in last minutes. I don't think that's true. God damn you. I don't, I don't think these things are true. I don't think, like, I don't think the Mimic is an example of lazy writing. Um... But my problem with the Mimic is that it's a very, very generic idea. Like, like, it's a thing that can speak and act like things to trick people. It's just a really cliche idea. Like, fucking Clyde at one point was going to be called the Mimic. Vita Carnus has a the Mimic. It's just a really generic idea and I can't be that interested in it because it's that, it's just such a, it's such a, like, so many people have thought of that before. It's something anyone can think of. And I just find that underwhelming. Inherently. Uh -huh. Yeah, I get that. 
But yeah, I mean, as I like how when you started saying that, <laughs> DB in the chat just said, "Be very careful." <laughs> Fuck you, man. What are you gonna do? Come back to Canada, kill me? Are you, I don't think I don't think you're supposed to just stand. I'm probably there, not. Like, I'm I'm just I'm just I'm stalling for time. You're trying to find a way out. Uh, you're either stalling for time or you're trying to find a way out. While right now, I'm just stalling for time. I don't know if that's intended. Um, are there more batteries in this place? Maybe. Is he calming down? I don't know. I know your province. That's about it. I think you know my city. I mean, it's public knowledge for the most part. Oh, wait. Was there a hole in the ceiling? I think I just saw a hole in the ceiling. In, in the main room. Oh, there is yeah, a hole in the ceiling. Yeah, in there. Ugh. I saw that off the corner of my eye. Oh, okay. I there you go. One. Um, What do I do with this information, though? Bird! Okay. So, yeah. I'm supposed to go up there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I should probably do this later, <laughs> right? <laughs> probably not supposed to yeah. be here. This is probably something you're supposed to do later on. It's kind of cool that you're able to access this early, though. Like, it's neat that they gave you the option. Yeah. The other level, like, the main levels, though, are like, you have to do it in order, right? It's not like you can pick which one you go to. Yeah, the main levels you have to do in order. Okay, I thought so. I wasn't entirely sure. It that. is cool with this that you have the option to just, like, sort of wander into this, like, brand new section. That's neat. Yeah. See, here's the hilarious thing, though. I don't know how to mm -hmm. get out of here. Say we come back later. I don't know. Like, where did I fucking come from? Is you it... came in through a tunnel at the end of the forest, what if I just... so I think you're going the right way. Yeah, could I just, like, try to follow this path? Uh, are you meant to access it early intentionally? I don't believe so. I mean, I think it's just—I think it's just a side quest that you can access at any time. But you're probably meant to learn if you do go to it early. You're probably just meant to learn naturally. Yeah, you're not ready for this. Yeah. Um, or from the people in chat yelling in all caps, "Go back! Go back! Don't do this! Go back! Go back! Go back!" Hi, bird. Hello. <laughs> okay, he can run out there. He can run out there. What the fuck is this? Okay, Whoa. I got a paper. There's a chair and a paper. Or a picture, I mean. Um. Is there a way I can... That's just gonna take me back here. Okay, interesting. So... Okay, I just need to figure out where I came from. Okay, wait, tunnel. Tunnel. Uh, that we went through, like, a... Train station question mark? I don't know. Goodbye, mm -hmm. the guest. We'll be back probably. <laughs> Goodbye, neighbor. I love hello neighbor. Alright. Okay. Let's go baking. We're going from spooky woods to, uh, we're going from spooky woods to baking. Apparently, early version of the guest model, you could see who was under the yellow beak mask. It was Theodore. The guest is just the neighbor, but in a Halloween costume. If that's actually still true, that's really funny. I like that. I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true anymore, because he kind of eats you, but, uh... <laughs> uh, okay. Bakery. I don't know where bakery is. Nor would it. Lo uh, sorry, I should say I don't know what it looks like. Is it like glaringly obvious when you see it? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it should be. It's a, it's a big bakery. Although, um, the note you got said to go to the museum, so I think you gotta go to the museum first. Does it? You got a thing talking about the museum in the newspaper? I just. I don't know what... I, I don't know where that would be. I don't know where anything is. I'm slightly stupid. And by slightly, I mean extremely. Well, I think, well, I think I found the bakery. What is... Cabery. That's, uh, that, that's the bakery. Cabery. Am I supposed to go to the... I guess I'm supposed to go to the museum. Uh, that looks museum-esque. I don't fucking know. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's oh, the place where we're going. Oh, Sumium. 
I can't jump up this. Okay. <laughs> Sumium. Forgive me for not being up to date on the lore of a game I've never played and openly despised. Yeah, I know, we're crazy, right? <laughs> Shovel. Oh. This was the shovel he hit me with. <laughs> is that actually where this is going? Well, it was the shovel that he whacked your car with. Right, right. Past your stream of dark deception went? Never. I don't care. <laughs> this cute a cutscene? Okay. I'm green. Oh. Passed out when picking up the shovel. Flashlight. Neighbor in house like FNAF 4. <laughs> oh shit, neighbor in house like FNAF 4! <laughs> neighbor in house. Spy kids looking at device. What the fuck? Oh my god, the neighbor in house like FNAF 4! What the 4. fuck? <laughs> I. Wow, okay. Well then, don't talk about the lore then if you don't. Okay, you're annoying, I'm gonna time you out. Pasha should really do voice acting for this game. It would be hilarious. Oh, well, I, I voice acted the cop. <laughs> um, okay, do I just go back to bakery now? I can take- uh, I believe, I believe the bakery is where you want to go next. Cause I know the bakery was like the second major level. Okay, I have things. All right. So like, you're seeing this new stuff because the team have said that this game will be updated for as long as fans want updates, which is awesome. That actually is pretty cool. It is cool that they're actually putting in the effort to put, to like make updates for this game that gives it more content for the people that are actively like asking for it. Especially considering the fact that the ending of it was so half-baked to me. Well, the game was released unfinished, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was literally released without an ending and that pissed me off so bad. Hi. Hi. I love the baker lady. She's my favorite. You're so goofy. She's so Why fun. are you doing that her. with oven mitts on? Put them on later. <laughs> hey, you understand? It's very hot dough. <laughs> very she only works dough. with smoldering hot dough. Okay, well, this is already a puzzle here, I imagine. Get numbers. This music's kind of fly. I know. I just, I love the vibes of this level. The friggin' Baker Lady's a fun enemy. I love the environment here. She has a cute little cat in the back. What if I... No, don't do that. <laughs> okay, I deserved that. I, I, I deserved that. I just... I love in her... I love in the animation of her catching you at first. She's like... At first she's like friggin' attacking you, but then she's like, Oh, oh, it's you. She and like, she just throws you outside. She like pets your face, I noticed. Yeah. Um, door, calm down. I love this level. Ma'am, I need to get my crowbar back. Thank you. She has um, chloroform on her glove. <laughs> she has what? Somebody in chat says she has chloroform on oh her glove. Oh my god! <laughs> Uppies. Officially, the baker's name is Gerda, but I like to call her Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> Gerda's a nice name, though. I like that. Her face makes it seem like you're the town's regular wife. No, that's what I was saying. Because, like, that's what I love about it. Is it's like she recognizes you, and it's like, oh, this guy again. <laughs> She's got this cute little house upstairs. Like, uh, I love this. Gerda drugs you cutely. <laughs> I think she's coming upstairs. I can't really tell. Oh, I heard a huh? Huh? Of my beloved, please stop suffocating me. <laughs> oh, 
I don't know if there's anything for me here. Oh. Oh! Num- num- Oh, I need to cut tree and get number. Oh, but the water on the sprinklers make it so the plant regrows. That's not how that works! It's a funny cartoony game! <laughs> Let it be funny and cartoony! Yeah, Never. Okay. Besides, it's clearly it's clearly showing you that, unlike the last game where you kill plants with that music. That is true. Yeah, you know I'll take it. I'll take it. Sorry for complaining. I didn't mean it. Good. <laughs> I can't believe I just violently defended Hello Neighbor. You really did. The magic water makes tree Oof. grow faster. Give me out! Give me out! Give me out! <laughs> People when they hate joy and whimsy. Look, yeah, that's me. <laughs> I got no defense. Yeah, that's me. Kitty, kitty, kitty. You're Look at her! so dumb. I love you. I love this cat. Hi. Don't mind me. I'm just looking at the cat. I was looking at the cat. Okay, I remember exactly what you gotta do with that cat. To get the to get the number, you gotta find a way to feed it. That makes sense. You put food or a drink into its bowl, and then it gets distracted, and you can grab the thingy. If you try taking it from the cat, it attacks you, because the cat's very feisty. I kind of want to try that now. See? He's very them. feisty. I love the kitty. Okay, I took that apparently. You you just stole that <sighs> stole that valve. I, okay. Um. Well, I'm gonna assume I can use the valve to turn off the water. That would make sense to me. Don't know where it would be attached. Why does this lady not just call the cops? Uh, they're too busy. The one cop in all of Ravenbrooks is too busy checking out that one house. Exactly. I'm definitely doing the right thing. Don't even worry about it. Oh yeah, this is what the game intended. <laughs> okay, I I felt like I feel like that makes sense. You use thing to turn off thing. No. Ah, woman. Thank you, Buryu13 for the five dollars. I I got rid of desk. I I got rid of desk. But you know what? I will try to remember that for next stream. That's what I'll do. No, go away! God damn it. Okay, so valve is not for water, apparently. Cat need food. I just keep laughing when she catches you now because I'm just imagining she chloroforms you. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? I respect her for that. Like, why does she just have chloroform gloves? For me, specifically. Okay, cat Do you still one. have the valve? Apparently not. Yoink. Valve. Valve, like the company. Oh, they uh, made, uh, they, they made, um, they, they, they made League of Legends. <laughs> I hate you. There we go. <laughs> nice. Ah! Killing myself! Forever changing the trajectory <laughs> of her life! <laughs> what you doing? When you see someone break into your house, and the second they make eye contact with you, they scream and jump out the window and promptly die. It just makes sense, okay? <laughs> uh. Oh. Fuck you. When someone spots you in this game, we need a Shipwreck 64 style jump scare to indicate that it. That would go crazy. Fuck you. 
I don't have anything else to throw at you, but fuck you. You break, you don't break. This is like the worst kind of vandalism. Bitch, leave! Can I pick anything up to throw at you? She's got a little picture of her doggy. I do like that. Okay, she's gone. Okay, did I turn water off? Okay, I turned water off. Skizzers. Why, bitch? Just let me destroy your plants. Maybe she can't detect me while I'm standing here. I don't know. Okay. Well, you just stole have a good her one. number five. I got number five. Number. I love numbers. Where's she at? Whatever. Oh. Did she just look under the table after you threw ah. her? Leave her alone. She's doing her best. She has no idea what's going on. I think she might be stupid. She's just a dumb baker lady. With broken doors. It's because they, they get stuck on me. <laughs> okay, well I got one of them. That's nice. Astra, by the way, that dog is a real dog of a fan that died a few months before the game release. Oh! oh rest in peace, buddy. Oh! That's so sweet of them. <laughs> that is very sweet. Oh, I don't mean to. Sorry, oh, didn't mean to. Is, didn't oh, didn't oh mean God. it. Oh, this I is so did, embarrassing. Oh, I didn't oh, mean no. it. I didn't oh, mean oh, it. Oh, God. I didn't oh, mean no. it. <laughs> oh, no. Um, that was awkward. Why does she shower fully clothed? <laughs> I don't know. Theodore Peterson pisses without having his cock out, so I don't know. Hi. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I love this person. <laughs> Why did that, like, actually make me jump? I was not ready to see her there. That's so funny. I didn't do anything. <laughs> She's so fucking goofy. I keep fucking alerting her. <laughs> uh, I don't know what I'm... I have no idea what I could be looking for right now. Uh, I made her angry. Can she get me from here? Probably not. I don't think so. She doesn't pull out the... She doesn't pull out the patented neighbor vacuum to stop you from going to high places. <laughs> Is the vacuum in this game at all? I don't remember if the neighbor has a vacuum in this game. I hope uh, he does. Though. I hope he does. Iconic. Killing myself once more. Um, okay, well, there's a key for this somewhere. Oh, and that's how I get cat. Or I do have scissors. No. Anyway. Um, Not Gerda's cat. Hi there. Oh no. Chloroform. <laughs> hmm. When do you plan to kidnap Pastor for another live stream? What do you mean? They're here right now, aren't they? In essence. <sighs> can I, like, grab onto the roof? I can. I don't know if there's a reason to, but I can. And you know what? Life is about trying new things. It's like she doesn't want to chloroform you, but has to. I know. It's, <laughs> like, she looks so disappointed. Are you really making me do this again? This guy. Oof. Um. I don't know where... I have no idea what to do right now. <laughs> um. She could never see me. Stealth around her. Hi. Oh. <laughs> Damn it, she moved slightly. I feel like your character would like. Thank you for the two kind euros. Of be dead with the amount of chloroform. Yeah, there, there must. This must be beyond a lethal dosage at this point. Like this is absolutely lethal. Like the company. Oh my god! Yeah, like the company. Like the company. 
I feel like you have something. Yeah, you have the key to the, the key. fridge. Please don't turn around. It's fine, I can escape her now. <laughs> you fool! You will never drug me again. I'm gonna go in another way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's go uppies. I love uppies. I love uppies. I love the music in this area. It is nice. It's very relaxing. I know. Makes you forget about all the breaking and entering you're currently doing. Um. Oh! She'll never walk um, through here. This is awkward. She'll never walk through here. Um, okay, actually, hang on. I will be right back. Just give me one minute. Uh, Zach, entertain the chat if you can. Hi, chat. Lethal Company is just Hello Neighbor in space. No, you're wrong. Morgan Freeman voice, she walked through there. I can't speak in a Morgan Freeman voice. I would not even try it. I'm leaving now? Goodbye. Question for Pastra, have you seen the Bendy movie announcement? Yeah, I would I would have to live under a rock to have not seen it. Here's the OC staring at my soul? Good, that's the point. Stop yapping, Pastra? Um, no, because that's what we call a bad stream. Um, let's see here. Uh, Lethal Company is a good game. Hello Neighbor isn't. True. Pastra, there's gonna be a Bendy movie. Big news. Yeah, no shit. I, 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 no shit. I, I've seen, I, if, if something for Bendy gets announced, I've seen it, guys. I know Random Stuff Gaming was joking, but, uh, I'm gonna make macaroni and cheese. Yum, yum. I cannot eat that. Hi, Pastra. Hello. Hey, Pastra, are butter and jelly sandwiches a good idea? That sounds disgusting. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, are you excited for the new MonsterVerse movie? Yeah, it looks pretty all right. Why are you talking like a robot? Pastra, did you hear about the Bendy get shot? You had it coming. Um, fun fact, Nifty from Fazbin's VA is going to be in the Among Us show. That's very funny. Yo, the Among Us show has such a stacked cast right now. It actually does. Fucking Elijah Wood. <laughs> like, that is insane to me. Um, where's the fridge? It's on the other side. God damn it. <laughs> I'm running. Fuck the table you. snapped in half. Have any recommendations? Buy a new one like anyone else would. That is good advice. Or window there is. Okay. All right. What's your opinion on Hello Neighbor songs? I've I I think I've, I heard the DA Games one like five years ago, but I don't. I've really heard none of them. We'll probably do a stream of that one day. I listened but... to the I listened to the Living Tombstone one and it was really bad. <laughs> Pastor, what would you do if you were the neighbor? I'd say hello. I put in his um, little dish. Oh, okay. All right, guys, I've already pet the fucking cat. Did I? Have I not? <laughs> Ugh. Fine. Cat. Oh, okay. I thought I. Kitty. I thought what I did before was petting the cat. Okay. Kitty! Did that cat like just cat. wink at you? <laughs> Cats are right. not supposed to do that. Why did it wink at you? <laughs> I like the cat. Okay, so I need two more numbers. Um. Okay, there's a book with a lock on it, I think. Um, okay, I haven't seen any other keys.
Hmm. God damn it. <laughs> She's so angry when she sees you. She gets really angry, bro. That roar was ferocious. <laughs> I know. Like, that was her barbarian rage. Oh. <laughs> White woman is furious. This is huge. <laughs> I don't think this is a key. What is it? Okay. What is this? The moment you get outside, she's like... Eh. I have no idea what I'm holding right now. <clears throat> sure is something. Sure is something. I remember there being like a clock upstairs that you can do it. Oh, that's what this is. Is it upstairs or downstairs? Hi. Pastor, since you apparently are unaware, a cat winking at a person is a sign of trust in their presence, as well as loyalty. I think that's just blinking, they not a winking trust specifically. trust us not to do anything wrong and hold us in... How did we gather all that from cats winking? I'm, I'm pretty sure that's blinking. Like, when cats, like, blink slowly at you, that means that. It's not a, it's not winking exclusive. How did we figure that out, though? Uh... I don't know. <laughs> we just... Man, we... cats are weird. All I know is that my cat goes meow and occasionally knocks shit over. <laughs> Clock. Hi there. Don't mind me. <laughs> Fucking shut the door in her face. I need... Clock. Lady, do you have a clock? If you do, could you direct me towards it? You didn't answer your question. <laughs> <laughs> She's like fucking taunting me. She's like reaching out for the door and not opening it. I like her taunt to you, then occasionally going, whole. Ah! <laughs> She's so goofy. I love her. <laughs> Thank you. I love her so much. Paramari333 for the $5. I'd pay money to see Pastor play FromSoft's old masterpiece, Lost Kingdoms 1 and 2. It all started at the Spencer Mansion. I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> I've never heard of Lost Kingdoms. I don't think I have either. Clock. Oh, there it is. Okay, I assume I'm looking for a specific time. That says 1035. This moves weird, okay. Oh, what? Okay. I don't like you. That's a lie, I do, but fuck off. I told you about the time I accidentally solved a Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion puzzle by uh, using my real time instead of the time that they intended, but it just so happened my real time at the time I was playing was the exact time of the puzzle's answer. That's right? insane. I don't recall that. That's actually insane. There was a point in time where I was playing the Spooky's DLC, and there was a clock puzzle, and um, I had guessed that it was going by the time on your PC, so I ended up writing it down on the clock. Turns out that wasn't the solution to the puzzle. However, it just so happened the time I put in was the actual solution of the puzzle. So for a while, I thought it was true. That's insane. I have never seen better luck in my entire life than that moment. Yeah, that's second place for me. Uh, David Barron, have you seen that his Cry of Fear clip? I don't believe so. We played Cry of Fear. He uh, had, there was a, uh, a lock with a code on it, and it's randomized. 
which I don't remember exactly what it means, but there, there's like five, ten thousand different options, something like that, and he just guessed it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. Actually insane. Oh, hi. I didn't know. Okay, I did not oh, know you were here. Oh, hello. Alright. I only need one more, so... I'm actually doing fine. I'm not sure where to go now, though. Pastor, don't be simping. I have not been simping this entire stream. I mean, if you say anything positive about a woman, they're gonna say you're simping. Yeah. You just, just need to prepare for that. I know, my fans only have one joke. <laughs> Hello, Gerda. <laughs> my fans Pleasant only have see one you joke. on this rooftop yet again. I'm back. I apologize, Pastra. I know you can't eat food, so in your honor, I got a glass of water. Thank you, Demuted. <laughs> In your honor. At the baddest, are you scared of women? <laughs> Zach, did I tell you about this, the fear <laughs> of women game? No. Sorry, I just... I just saw someone in chat said, Actually, we have two jokes. Pastor Sims for women, and what do Veldigan taste like? <laughs> <laughs> my bad, my bad. You're right, Pastor Fans only have two jokes. And that one is better. That one is better. Oh. Interesting. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm just fucking around. Um. Hi. Don't mind me. Is there something like with your baking or. Ice. Ice. Um, I got ice. Throw it in the- throw the ice in the furnace! Or at her. Oh, she actually did react, okay. What was I going to say? Oh yeah, Scared of Women game. One of the worst fucking games we've played on this channel. <laughs> scared of Women game. I played a game called Gynophobia, and Gynophobia is the fear of women. Okay. Um, and yeah, in, in this game, there's a, you, uh, the protagonist you play as um, has both gynophobia, the fear of women, and arachnophobia, the fear of spiders, obviously. Um, and uh, yeah, there's like the game mostly takes place in like this dream sequence. Um, oh fuck! <laughs> oh, this is awkward. <laughs> the game mostly takes place in like this dream sequence, where. Um, there's, like, mutated women and also mutated spiders, both of which you shoot. And, like, the boss of the game is a spooky woman riding a giant spider. And by beating the game, you conquer both of your fears. So once the dream sequence is over, you, in the real world, stomp a spider to death, and then also let a woman into your house. <laughs> this is amazing. It was terrible, but it's funny, yeah? It's just a funny thing that someone actually, actually, just actually did that. Oh, so you can light the ice on fire. Oh! Oh, do I need, like, mitts to get it out? You gotta fight her for her chloroform mitts. Anyway, yeah, I'm just convinced, uh... I I'm convinced gynophobia is just, like, an incel po power fantasy. I feel like it's... I, I just feel like that's what it has to be. It really sounds like it. Um, either another block of ice, or maybe, is there, like, some way to turn off the oven? That would make sense. I think that's a... Oh, maybe I need to put the valve back here. Is that... Could it be that? Or is that stupid? I don't know. Maybe? What's this? Oh, fire! It's a fire extinguisher! Go away, bitch! Oh my god, what did... Does she have a weapon? What does she have? Wait, why do you look... What did you have? You had... Wait, huh?
What do you have? Are her hands just extending? I think her hands are just extending. <laughs> I'm so confused. It looked like either a large knife or a rolling pin. Those would both make sense. Fuck you, bitch. Wait, we oh. still need that! Damn it. <laughs> Wait, where'd it go? Oh, did it go back? No. Wait, it bounced back into you. Look, look, look back at the stove. Oh. I thought... For some reason, I thought when it goes out, it stays out. It's floating. Oh. Oh, it was actually stuck there. There you go. Okay. Uh, up. We go uppies now. <clears throat> um. Hi. <laughs> Bitch! Damn it. Oh, you missed. <laughs> Hello, neighbor. Nice to eat ya. Are you ready for some Fazbear pizza? So true. Thank you, Demuted, for that. <clears throat> Someone asked how's the game so far. There was a lot of technical difficulties that slowed down the process, like, the progress, like, absolutely fucking crazy. But, like, I think this game's good. It's pretty alright. I don't know. I don't, I don't really see any my, major issues. My thoughts on the game exactly. I think it's just, it's just, it's, it's good. Yeah. Okay, maybe I have to be out of her line of sight. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> All right. Wonk. Um. Oh, is there a specific? Uh. Okay. Huge. Okay, that was day two. Wow, that went by quicker when the game wouldn't break every six seconds. Yeah, right. <laughs> that went by so much better. It's crazy what happens um, whenever, like, you know. What is this? The game though? functions. Where was there a lock? I genuinely don't remember. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you take that to the uh, museum for one of the locked doors. Oh, the 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 CU the CUM, I forget what they called it. The uh the sumium. The sumium. Sumia. Isn't this where the yeah, ending of the game happens? Oh, the neighbor! <laughs> Hello, neighbor. Theodore Masters Peterson. I love you. Ah! <laughs> you were so good in the show. I love your big funny mustache. It is fire, yeah. And your bigger funnier chin. <laughs> it's, it is quite large. Uh how oh, okay. How fast are you? <laughs> Wait, hang on, hang on. I gotta I gotta keep hang on, hang on. Theodore the Goat Peterson, who could forget such bangers as you're not my target, but you could be. I mean that was a fire line. That was a pretty fire line. I prefer had to dig a grave, a small one. That was <laughs> Yeah, like I think that was my favorite of that scene. I guess I'll just sneakily sneak around.
He probably already saw me. Huh? No? Nah. He's busy he looking at this thing. Yes, no idea. It's a car. Um. Yeet. Okay, is there anything I can do in this room? I don't think there is right now. Maybe I can get, like, car keys. <clears throat> I remember there was something to do with the car. Interesting. <laughs> Hi. I love you. <laughs> Do you hear that he's like, oh, ah, I need to I'm stuck! It. Okay. Oh. I thought it over! I <laughs> didn't expect that. Oh, it's a little <laughs> window. Love thy neighbor. Love thy neighbor. Oh, that's locked. Okay. Uh, um. Am I meant to like make out with thy neighbor? True. Am I meant to like? It's get supposed to be like a replica of houses the town. for this. But I can like place things. It, there's a prompt for it. Am I meant to like put this together? Yeah, yeah. You got to put together the model. Okay. Hello, neighbor. Never forget the actual joy I felt when that was said in the show. That was so. I, I, man, I gotta turn that clip into a YouTube short. It was so exciting. I was so happy. What? Huh? What? I was I was sneakily sneaking along. I was sneakily sneaking. I was sneakily sneaking, Zach. I understand. I saw, but Mr. Peterson's built different. I was sneakily sneaking. Wrench. Oh, you ain't got no head. So no head. Oh, uh. Interesting. I don't know if. Huh. Okay. This is weird. Yes, yes, I remember this part. I'm going up. Uppies, uppies. I climb up thingy. I don't know if I should be doing this. No, I'm pretty sure this is where you actually need to go. Okay. I, um... I know you did have to climb up here for whatever reason. 
I mean, I'm supposed to do something first. There's, but there's like, there's like no prompt to, like, remove anything here, so. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I think I'm supposed to... I think I'm supposed to do something else and then do that? I don't know. That's all I can assume. Is there anything else up here? I grab this. Oh. Ah. Uh. Okay, I think I need to put a thing here. I don't know. I'm just saying words. I'm just saying words that kind of make sense in my head. What was that? Okay. Can I get in through here? I can. Let's go. Uh, well, I, um, I can. Uh, I can, okay. Thank you, neighbor. Though I don't know if I can actually do anything here. It's very dark. Like the deception. They're breaking the planks. I don't think these. Are, bleh, wrong thing. I don't know if these are planks because there's no prompt. Oh, uh, it's like a grate. Yeah, I think so. Um. I don't know. Mm. Window. Hello, other window? It's still blocked. What just happened? Whoa! Did it kick me out? What the fuck? Your whole camera, like, flipped perspectives there for a second. Let me in. Let me in! I deserve it. Maybe. Probably not. I like how many movie posters are on the screen right now. I know. Like, the whole bottom row is made up entirely of posters. And two of them are, like, your least favorite movies ever. I know. Isn't that great? And then there's, is this a dish or a fuck? Oh my god, I didn't even notice that picture. <laughs> is this a dish or a fuck? I'm gonna go ahead and say it's a fuck, but that's just me. I think that's a dish. I don't know, it just seems fuck-like. Um... Oof. Owie. Okay. Um... The transition for dying and respawning from falling is so seamless. Yeah. Which I like, but at the same time, sometimes it's disorienting. When yeah. you're, like, unsure if, if you died or not. Okay. I feel like... Oh, that's just that. Okay. Hello, neighbor. You're gonna, you're gonna take any excuse to say that. Absolutely. Why wouldn't I? Neighbor. <laughs> oh, he's so fast! He's got pain on him. Bro is covered he's in yellow and he's pissed. He's really fast. <clears throat> I need Bro looks I... like he just finished eating a minion. <laughs> God damn it. Door. Remember this like this building opens up a lot more near the end of the game? Yeah, that makes sense, but what am I supposed to do right now? Am I meant to... Am I even meant to be doing anything here? I could have sworn that, like, climbing up the building was the right way for the time. Although it's been so long since Phil and I played it. It's been so long 
since last I've hello neighbored. Plus to this neighbor. <laughs> Why is the music still playing? Is he somewhere? The man behind the neighbor. Everything is locked. I don't know. House? I got house. Oh, okay. So is this my goal right now? Am I meant to do this right now? Theo, fuck off. I'm assuming something. if they're giving you a piece of the puzzle right now, that is to tell you that that's your current objective. Mm -hmm. um. <laughs> Don't worry about that. That didn't happen. This way. Okay. Yeah, there you go. So I'm looking so for... So you need to find the other two replicas. Two houses. You're expecting me to find two houses in this economy? Wait, that's a house. Die. <laughs> house. I got house. Fuck you, neighbor. I don't remember that name. <laughs> Fuck you, neighbor. Wait, what... What's he doing? Hi, can I have this? Okay, we're good. <laughs> Goodbye, neighbor. <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> Why does bro have replicas of houses in the town? Why does bro have replicas of himself and his family members? <laughs> yeah, that's a little weirder. Well, they're both Why weird, is... I don't know. Why is bro taking up residence in a museum? Are the residents evil? Maybe. Theodore Masters Peterson is a pretty evil individual from what I gather. <laughs> I just like his animations. You'll never see me. Can't wait. Can't wait for the final game. Hell no, neighbor. That is a good idea. Someone write that down. By someone, I mean... Demuted, write that down. House. House. If I was a house, where would I be? If I was a house, where would I build me? Oh, hi. If I was a neighbor... Where would I say hello? In 3D. Uh, this room feels like it would make sense. I don't know. Where is neighbor? I don't know where neighbor. Careful of television. Neighbor themed analog horror starts with television. <laughs> Why has anyone done that yet? The, uh, the, the Hello Neighbor analog horror. <laughs> Someone probably has. They're probably just really bad and have, like, no views. Hold on, I'm checking. Hello, neighbor. Neighbor. Analog horror. Okay, there actually is Hello Neighbor Analog Horror. It, it was made. This is huge. It has like no views, but it doesn't exist. It looks like somebody made a. It looks like somebody made a Hello Neighbor Analog Horror about the guest, which actually sense. is a kind of cool idea. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> the fuck is he muted to make? I think Theodore clears Sadako. Sorry, sorry, Sadako. I mean, yeah, if you if you guys saw the scene of Theodore getting arrested, he could take on many fully grown men. Like, he was... Exactly. He was doing well for himself. Or Sadako would not stand a chance. Someone's got a power scale Theodore Peterson.
Oh my god, the parkour. I keep getting st I got stuck in a weird corner. Okay. Moving on up in the world. Again. I don't know. I just I feel like there must be something. Like, I mean, this might be for later. There's plenty of places we can't go right now, but... I don't know where else I can go. I'm out of ideas. Exactly, I'm out of ideas. I could have sworn that you did have to, like, climb the house for something. I don't think the third replica is on this chimney, though. Probably not. Ow. Owie. Are there more windows? I just haven't noticed. Maybe. Any cobwebs you can snip? Eh. I don't know what to do. People are saying to check back in the main hall where you found the blue house. I guess there were other display cases there, but... I didn't... Uh, hi. Hello, Theodore. He's so fast! Oh, it is there. It's, it's oh, already, yeah, there it is. It's partially shattered, so I couldn't see it. Interesting. Okay, he doesn't care. Uh, uh, this guy. He has a very hard time focusing. I'll cut shoo, you. Shoo. I'll cut you. you. I'll cut you. Oh. I'll do it. <laughs> I love hearing him grumbling. Is he just not gonna leave? Okay, there we go. We can all agree, at least we can all agree, Theodore can beat Goku. Absolutely. Make sure to tell Gaming Edge that everybody. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, he's standing there. Um. Oh, oh, it's, it's a, a spider. I thought it was a crack. It's a spider web. I thought it was a crack in the glass. <sighs> Theodore Peterson versus God. Theo solos. Not even close. Not even a fair competition there. Theo! Theo! <laughs> the son of a bitch! <laughs> Theodore versus himself? Now that would be a good fight. The Battle of Gods. <laughs> ah! <laughs> shoo, shoo, go away. <laughs> Damn it, it pulled me in. <laughs> I was trying to tease him. Theodore Master Theodore Masters, not even the Peterson should be the next DBD killer. I see here's the thing. I would genuinely love to see that. It just stylistically I couldn't think of a way to make it work. Call him the neighbor. It's yeah, it's so it's so good. Like it's right there, but stylistically it would just be too off. Okay, but like imagine a like hyper realistic, like human like Theodore Peterson in the Dead by Daylight art stuff. It, sound, it sounds disgusting, but I do want it. His whole gimmick is that he throws glue bottles at survivors, and if they're up high, he pulls out his vacuum to pull them down. That would be so good. Or alternatively, going back to earlier in the stream, Smash Bros. Right, right. So he would basically just be a better version of the clown? Why don't we just get the neighbor as a clown skin? 
And it could be his clown skin from Secret Neighbor. Yeah! I don't have the crowbar anymore. <laughs> God damn it. What is... Wait, what... Hi. What is, what is this? Fish? I got fish. Fish! Can I put fish here? That'd be funny. Okay. Wait, Get where do your I... crowbar back. What is... Oh, wait. Okay. Go. Okay. Um... Fish. That is the cultist painting. Yeah, I figured. I got another key. Uh, you brother, got a heart key. Uh, well, this is a problem. You know, I much more appreciate this, like, little piano key that plays whenever he sees you over the friggin', like, repetitive guitar of the original. <laughs> okay, I think he actually left me alone. Oh, um, Theo, buddy. Just imagine a DBD map based on the neighbor's house. Oh, that'd be horrific. Never mind, I don't the want it. The only map worse than RPD. I don't even know where this fucking key is for. I probably need to get through that door with the crowbar. Fuck. God damn it. Piss. Shit. Cock. Is the only way to get a crowbar now to go back to the office? Well, where'd you leave your other crowbar? <laughs> I don't know. I threw it at some point. Oh. Is it around here? Hi. Because I had to break this glass. I don't know. I don't know, chat. Does anyone remember where or why I threw it? <laughs> Someone says there's a crowbar on display. I assume they mean this room. Okay. You guys are dropping sweat bombs like it's nothing. What does that mean? That message was retracted. I'm assuming it was a typo. Okay. Ah! Throw the fish at him. It'll be really funny. <laughs> it just made him mad. You guys are dropping swear bombs. Yes, I do oh. that very frequently. Yeah, I do enjoy saying the word fuck and shit and piss and cock. Shit's a good one. I, I use shit quite frequently. I personally think fuck's very versatile. It is. Subjectively the most versatile. You can do so much you with the just, word fuck. You can you can use it in really any context. Really? You couldn't have thought of this? Okay. Um <laughs> Like really man? Okay. <laughs> Look man. And that just wait. This was useless. Why did I do here? this? <laughs> Go away, Theo. What? Are, what am I supposed to do then? Wait. Huh? In my where does this go? Server. Top ten mascot horror YouTubers who've sworn. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a good idea. Thank you, Tony Sonic, for the five dollars. Uh, since part of DVD, I have a question. Would you like if the ink demon got on DVD? I think that'd be fire. I would love that so much. The Ink Demon as a DVD killer would be so cool. See, I think that key was uh, able to unlock that door you passed by. Was it? It was. It was. It was. It was red. Was it? I thought so. Theo. Master, are you a Sonic fan? Yes, and it makes me sad. And it makes me sad. Theo, Theo, buddy, Theo, god damn it, man. Okay, I'ma just uh, let him chill out for a second. Pastor, somebody made a gotcha life of you? Yeah, I saw that two years ago. Oh yeah, there's a there's a few of them. That is old ass news. Is well, Bendy still your favorite ones. horror game? It has not been for a while. I'd still consider Bendy my favorite indie horror game. Yeah. But no, it has not. Bendy has not been my number one for like. Would you say a year now? It's been a little, been a little less than a year now. A little less than a year. Actually, has it been a year since you 
fell in love with RE8. Maybe it has been a year. When did I play Resident Evil Village? Theo, brother. Just like, let me open a door. Like, I'm asking for so little in this life. Like, I'm asking for so little. You cunt. Thank you, Depp Kiss, for the $2. So what do you think of Hell Neighbor 2 so far? It's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. It was... I did not play Where did Resident Evil Village in 2022. From? No, I did definitely not, not play just... Resident Evil Village in 2022. Definitely not, no. It was like spring last year, I feel like. Because I know like I... Spring 2023. Something's happening. Hi? Something's happening. He keeps teleporting behind me. I genuinely thought Bendy was still your favorite. That's news to me. Yeah, uh, people in chat are going to be very upset to find out that Bendy is not my favorite horror game. And if we're talking like my top three favorite games ever, it's not even in the top three. <laughs> we're talking indie. Absolutely. It's my favorite indie horror game. But like I've gotten to play a lot of really good games recently that have kind of beaten it out. Also, is he going to like, he's going to like, no. He's gonna leave, or uh... the neighbor's not a bad guy, really. He just he just wants you to leave him alone. What about indie games in general? Oh, Hollow Knight has always cleared Bendy. I have always oh, liked. He's Hollow holding Knight a fish. Bendy. He was holding the fish. He was holding the fish head. Uh, why? What are those top three? My three favorite games, my three favorite games currently are Resident Evil Village, Hollow Knight, and Final Fantasy VII. Those are my three favorite games. Theo, Theo, calm down, man. Theo, Theo. The, uh, <sighs> it, it, it's, really, it's really intimidating the way he just stands there mid chase. I hate him. I love him though, but I hate him. Wait, the key's not like here. This... Where's the key? I like how this stream just turned into a pastor Q and A. It it turns into that every single time I talk to chat. Chat likes asking me questions. You're just an interesting thing thank you you're welcome <laughs> <laughs> oh no one's God. ever told me that before <laughs> what is this guy doing um would you ever consider talking about some of your absolute favorite horror games that somebody doesn't know? I, I already do talk about my favorite horror games I haven't yet talked about, like, I haven't made a video yet. Well, actually, I made a video on Resident Evil Village, but, like, a full a part thing of... It, yeah. of I, haven't made, I haven't made, like, a full video on any of my three favorite games yet, because every single time I think to, I decide to save it for later. I mean, that's fair, because if you were to do so, um, it would be uh, a very big project, I imagine. Like, on the scale of your bendy ones, I assume. I was going to say, if I made a video talking about... Any of those three games. If I made a video about Hollow Knight, Resident Evil Village, or Final Fantasy VII, that video would be, like, the same length or longer than those bendy ones. Yeah. So I, Probably I can't longer. blame you for not exactly feeling up to it on any given day. Yeah. I have to, I'd have to save it for when I'm feeling real ambitious. And considering the fact that I'm currently on a content creation break on my own channel, it's probably not going to be for a bit. Yeah. Which is fine. Also, this is this is the bed where the drats I'm straight moment happened. <laughs> the drats I'm straight. Now you gotta vandalize that photo of his family. Oh. See, look, aren't they wholesome and cute? So wholesome and cute. Heppel me. Oh, 
Jesus fucking Christ! Okay, I I said this whenever I was on Phil's stream. That cutscene's actually cool. That's a good that was a good cutscene. That's a good cutscene. I like that cutscene quite a lot. Okay, is this, is this thing gonna serve any fucking purpose? <laughs> Um, I feel like it's just a tool that you can use, but you don't need. Yeet. Um, crowbar. Oh, the fire extinguisher is a part of my arsenal now. Oh, yeah. Do I need to take it? Like, now? Uh, do you want a jetpack? What did you mean by this? I don't know if it's still in the game, but in the early builds of Hello Neighbor 2, the... Fire extinguisher actually had physics when you would jump with it, and people used it to get to places. I assume that was fixed. <laughs> like, in what way? Like, what do you mean? Like, people would, like, crouch jump with it, and then shoot behind them, and it would, like, boost them forward. Huh. I'ma leave it. <laughs> it's not fixed, it still works. Spray, then jump, people are saying. It was an intentional Spray, mechanic. Spray, oh. then jump? Like... But, like... How? Are you guys sure it's an intentional mechanic? That's some steel wool shit lying about patch notes. <laughs> they use Spoten, 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 Spoton. For the $5. Clyde and DVD or a Winfrey Nemesis skin would go so hard. That would be sick. Did you know that Silent Hills and Monsters Immortals? Yep. Oh, there oh, you go. Okay, I think that is intentional then, because there is, like, an animation for it. But it's not that helpful, is the thing. I'm. You don't... People People use it a lot for speedrun stuff, if and I know Phil used right, it a bit during our stream. Oh, fuck, I hit right-click. God damn it. Yeah. This is very silly. I hear right clicking. Anyway, uh, is it hunter time? Yes, I believe that's where we're going next. Um, I don't know where that is. Do I have my crowbar? I do. Okay. Um. This is sumium, I think. Or is this? Yeah, this is sumium. Mm-hmm. I just re I just remembered how fucking I mean okay maybe I just don't know how to play the game well enough but I'm just remembering how fucking OP the hunter is in Secret Neighbor because you can play as him and the fucking gun in that game. Wait, so you could you could just use a gun and shoot kids in Secret Neighbor? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> and it is really hard to go against. That. I mean, yeah, it's a bunch of children fighting a dude with a gun. Yep. <laughs> I've never played Secret Neighbor. We should get a group for Secret Neighbor sometime. I'm down. I've played it a decent amount. That would be fun. Well, actually, okay. I don't know if it'd There's be fun. I've never played Secret here. Neighbor, but it looks like it'd be fun. It is. It's fun. It's It's not a very... It's It's. It's not the most well-made game. Um, and, again, like the thing about it is... There's plenty of games like it that play better than it. But if you get a group of friends together, it's a silly fun time. Mm -hmm. Where am I going? Uh, I'm trying to remember, the Hunter's Lodge was like far back in town. It's not like it's not like one of the regular houses you go to.
Oh, you ever play Star Monsters Wars. and Mortals with Isaac? Um, I, was, I was about to read that same message. I mean, we have played it. together off stream very briefly. Um, maybe if there's also... ever a DLC that you actually like, maybe, who knows? <laughs> maybe. They get their hands on a crossover I'd want to play. You want to play as Cory? <laughs> I mean, that's pretty sick that they added Cory, but like, I, I don't particularly find myself like really wanting to play for him. <laughs> but he's so OP. I have been told. He is I have so been OP. Told. I don't know. Am I going this way? I don't know. Yeah, his house. His house should be like far in the back of the town. I got the horses in the back. Yeah, you can play as Daco. I remember it being like by water too. Oh wait, am I finally supposed to use the fucking the thing behind the first house where you like where there was water and platforms, but there was an invisible wall? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Uh. Water. You got Use the your fire extinguisher you got this. To get Right, over of the course. Fence. Huge! I don't know when I'm gonna use this, is what you said. What? Fuck you! <laughs> what the fuck? Why are you. You ended me? up using it! What the fuck? <laughs> I thought we were friends here. Look, I'm... you were just. You were, you were insulting the fire extinguisher. You like. You're too big of a Hello Neighbor fan now. What the fuck? Um... I'm a huge Hello Neighbor fan now. Aren't we all? They call me Hello. Shoot me! They call me. They call me Neighbor Ned. He shoot me and abducted me, and he, f he gave me a fucking finger wag. Fuck this guy. Where am I? Oh, I, why do I have to do this every time? That's bullshit. He caught you not using the fire extinguisher. Okay. You, I, you know what? Sure, I'll get. I'll, I'm gonna jizz all over him. That'll it's protect the only me. way. It's the only way. Why, why are their eyes like that? I have to put this fucking map together. Okay. Crowbar. Yeah, I know you've got to do something with all like the taxidermied animal heads here. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's real creepy. This place reminds me of that one, um, reminds me of that one episode from Gravity Falls. I know you don't get that, uh, I know you don't get that reference, but... I do not know. This reminds me of that one episode of the Hell Neighbor show where we were in this house. Oh my god, yeah, it's just like that. I think it might be a reference to that <laughs> it show. It might be a reference to that show. I think it's a reference to that- Oh, put the gun down! <laughs> Hi, you're a bear. Wait, can I have bear. that? Can I, can I have this place, bear. sir? Freddy? Give me. Oh, wait. Oh, you have a thing? Oh, fuck you. Okay. This is the guy Master. that tried to kill Enzo. Master, if there was one video you could remake on ah. your channel, what would it be? That You May Nicky you video may was Nicky shit. Video. <laughs> that You May Nicky video was so shit. It sucked. It's unlisted now. I hate it. I hate that video. Okay, but hear me out. Raid Clyde. That's like the reason it sucks. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? It's a four minute ad in a 16 minute video. Okay, but Raid Clyde. Raid Clyde, you're right. <laughs> I love Raid Clyde. Everyone's favorite character, Raid Clyde. How about how Poppy Playtime scares us? No, that, that video's fine. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of just like poorly made by now's standards, but I mean, at the time, I was really proud of it, and it reflected my talent as a uh, creator Oof. at the time. So I wouldn't want to change it.
Yeah, I know that Yume Nikki video was shit. It's the only video on my channel I've ever taken down because I was embarrassed by it. Mm hmm. Which, I mean. Normally, I would say, like, who the fuck cares? But, like, with that game in particular, I definitely think that's, that's, a, that's a video that needs to be remade someday for sure. Yeah, Yume Nikki's, like, in my top five for favorite games. I can't have a shitty video about that on my channel. Well, something I get worried about, honestly. Like, there are games that I want to talk about, or videos I want to make. And part of the reason I haven't is because, like, if I try to, and it ends up being bad, I will be very upset <laughs> with that. Yeah, ah. you see, that's how I am. Like, the more passion I am on the topic, the longer the video takes to make, because I can be a massive perfectionist about it. Which is also the reason why I haven't covered most of my favorite games yet on my channel. Yeah. Like, I want to make a lot of Doki Doki videos. That's the main thing, I'd say. Doki Doki, and also I was going to make a Shipwreck video when it came out. But, like... Shipwreck is a game I care about a lot. And I don't think I can really... I don't think there's any video I could make on it. Or any way I could make my video on it. That would be better or different from the amount of people that have already done it. And with Doki Doki, See, I would just be... I'd just be so upset if I fucked that up. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I, I get you entirely. I will one day, though. That's, make more videos on Doki That's Doki. why, um... That's why it's taken me so long to make videos on those specific topics, too. Because, like, you see, the thing is, if I'm talking about, like, a specific subject that, like, is, like, my absolute favorite or something... I don't necessarily care if somebody's made, like, a video on it already, so long as I'm voicing my own unique perspective on it. Yeah. But it's the matter of, like, what if I end up not liking this video when I make it? Mm -hmm. What if this ends up being, like, better than it could be? And I'm just, like, ah. Yeah. Oh, I got the thing. Okay. That being said, I would Fun. absolutely adore someday to make a video on the three my three favorite games. <clears throat> Yeah, I have, off the top of my head, I have six Doki Doki video ideas. Maybe seven. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> I really, actually, I'm, I'm thinking of more in real time, like FNAF. Um, no, I'm literally thinking of more right now. <laughs> like, I, yeah, I have a lot of ideas. That is huge. It's a very special game to me. Oh my god, Window! I am... Um... When it comes to, like, my favorite games, I had a couple ideas for Resident Evil 8 that wasn't just the House Beneviento video, but it would more than likely just be a thing on the overall game itself, just the full thing. Yeah. Um, I had an idea for a two-parter about Final Fantasy VII. Fuck. Um, oh, I, I did not know there was a hole in the floor you could just jump through there. <laughs> there is, which is nice. Erm. Um. Okay. Nope, he's still... <laughs> Fuck this guy. Also, I, I, we briefly mentioned this. The just We've mentioned this a couple times, just again briefly. Though. The music in this game overall, though, is, like, so much better. Like, oh, it is. There's I all... actually really like the soundtrack of this game. Yeah, there's been some really great, like, chase themes and also just, like, background music. It's been really good. What the fuck is this? Ah, I bunch, I got shot! Hi, hello! <laughs> What's your favorite video on your channel right now? Probably the abandoned by Disney one. That is a that are the that trick. are the that are the Ringu one. Those two are my favorites. My favorite on mine is probably the Poppy Playtime Retrospective. I don't think the Chapter 3 video quite met up to that, but I think uh, the Retro... I'd say the Retrospective, yeah. I really like the Retrospective. I really, really like that video. I am also... I remember that video made me a certified Mommy Longlegs hater. <laughs> I've done my job. Um... I am also proud of the Best and Worst, the, the Indie Horror Game Awards, I called them. 
But I'm more so just proud that I fucking got it done by the deadline that I set. <laughs> Yeah, when you were talking so about long. working on it, you were talking about working on it, like, at the end of December, I'm like, there's no way you finish this. And <laughs> you actually posted it, I'm like, how? I got it done January 1st. It was very hard. <laughs> like, holy shit. Because, like, games just keep fucking coming out, and I, I wanted to make sure, and I still missed a few, I wanted to make sure I played all the releases of last year. Um, and again, I still missed it. A couple of those lists are wrong. Return to Northbury Grove should have been on the worst list. But, um, yeah, I, uh, I, I just, I, I, I had to, I, I, I'm proud of getting that video done. But yeah, Poppy Playtime Retrospective is probably my favorite still. Fuck's sake. If I make any of those Doki Doki videos, though, hopefully those will become my favorites. The skizzers here. I believe I already took the skizzers. Yeah. I don't... Okay, I, I've been... God damn this guy. I've been doing the thing with those uh, heads. So no head. God damn it. <clears throat> so I think... Um, there must only be a couple left, right? Surely. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's... There's, uh, there's there's only a couple. Someone in chat asked who your favorite DDLC girl is. I just... Don't make me pick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to pick. If I, if I if I truly do have to pick, I I always say Yuri, but but it's, I don't like picking. I love them all so much. They're all my friends. I love Sayori. Yeah, I know Sayori's your favorite, which is a good pick. They're all good picks though. I love them. Is there? I always What's end up picking the characters in games that give me the most trauma. <laughs> Fair enough, yeah. I don't know what I'm fucking doing right now. Ah, no! God damn you. Well. <laughs> See, I, I will say that this level is more of a blur to me because this level was where Phil and I started the Silent Hill 2 rant that went for the rest of the stream. Yeah, the fucking pre-stream chat of this stream was just fucking... <laughs> we're gonna talk about Resident Evil 2. Sorry, Silent Hill 2. Same difference. Um, and, uh... That mo... That moment was, like, single-handedly, like, one of the funniest moments on either of our channels, but also a curse. Because now, anytime Phil and I are together in a stream, somebody in chat will go, I know how to make you mad. Silent Hill 2. And then they sit there waiting for the two of us to start another Doom rant, and it never happens because we, what the we let the rage out on that stream. Yeah. It's like we're going to explode again. Yeah. So and it's like, not going to happen this stream. Silent become a trigger word. And it's not going to happen on this stream, chat, because I've never fucking played a Silent Hill game. <laughs> And I also, again, I also just, I don't have the energy to care anymore. Yeah, it's going to be bad. whoop you do Yeah, at like some point. Like Silent Hill game past the fucking fourth one. Yeah, at some point, you just gotta stop caring. <laughs> Pasture fans have three jokes. You're right, you're right. <laughs> and they keep getting worse. <laughs> okay, I need more boars. You never played a Silent Hill game? Why? Isaac does not play AAA horror games. I have never... Yeah, I will still... <laughs> Zach, Zach, buddy. <laughs> it's I, okay. I, I understand. I know my I words understand. mean nothing now, but I would still like to finish RE8. It's okay. It's okay. No, yeah, I I just don't play... I, I've never finished a Resident Evil game. I've never played a Silent Hill game. I can't even name others besides that. Um, <laughs> what other AAA I horror games are there? AAA horror games. There's those um, are the big ones. There's but... Resident Evil, Silent Hill. Um, there's Alan Wake, which David's gonna be right. very upset that you didn't think of that one. Of right course, away. my bad. Um, there's the Evil Within games, which I actually have to get around to. I, I really want to yeah. play those. Um, I actually don't remember if those are AAA. I, I think they're AAA. They I'm should be. Sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure Evil right. Within. Yeah, I Alien was, Isolation. I was gonna play uh, Alien Isolation a long time ago, and I just fucking didn't. There's um. Oh my god, there is other ones. There is other ones. Um, Dead Space! Dead Space! Thank you! True! Well, my next video is about a Dead Space-inspired indie horror game. That's... that's... we're making progress. I like someone in chat saying Dead Space, and then immediately after someone is saying Dead Space Remake. True! Yeah, I, I really wanted to play Evil Within for a while because those games have a really, really neat, like, like art style to them. 
And I really like the music from them. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, hello. Go away, you bitch. So yeah, chat, as, yeah, I, I just don't play AAA horror games. Look, I can't be the queen of indie horror and spend like 30 hours on a AAA title at the same time. I can't, I can't rank 170 indie horror titles and also make time for non-indie horror titles. Yeah, come on now. You can't expect her to play good games. There's so many good games on that list. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Chill. Chill. <laughs> I'm tired of that accusation. <laughs> I understand. My bad. Jeez. There are so many bangers on the list that no one that just no one bothers to fucking play. I'm sorry. You should be. I, I'm sorry. Bitch. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Anyway, the fact you played Ban Ban how many times? Yeah. You know how much fucking money I made by doing that? <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah. Uh, it's my job. It's your guys' fault, because you guys keep watching! I was gonna say, yeah, Ban Ban kind of prints money when you stream Like, it. Like, I have played so many great indie horror titles on here, and you guys just don't watch! So yeah, I'm gonna play more Ban Ban! <laughs> Uh, when I, there's another question I wanted to read. What was it? Hang on. There was another question I wanted to, I, I wanted to read. What the fuck was it? I can't find it. I don't remember. I think it was like, what's your favorite analog horror right now? And I just wanted to answer DOAI. <laughs> let's go. I want DOAI. I've done nothing to earn it yet, but let's it's go. It's fine. It's fine. I Why promise, I promise I'll finish volume one soon. I believe you, buddy. Don't worry. I promise. There's a ducky. Can I make the ducky float with water? I feel so bad for all the people that have been waiting for DOAI because I said I, I said I was expecting, oh, hi. <laughs> like I, I said I was expecting a release date in February at one point, And then I said on stream, oh, maybe it'll be March. And then the friggin' mental health <laughs> shit happened. I'm like, never mind, it's not March. <laughs> it's not March. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, but I, here's the thing. Although your fans are uh, special, that's how I'll describe you guys. Um, it, you do you do have a community that like is definitely more caring of like th th you have a community that's more caring of your well being than getting more content. So I mean. Oh, I know. Yeah, like. I, I, I bully, Fuck. I bully pastor, I bully pastor fans often, but like, I have one of the most, like, I have one of the most, like, patient and, like, understanding communities I think I've seen from anyone on this platform. Hmm. Like, I, I tell people, oh yeah, I need to take a break. Oh yeah, this thing's being delayed and nobody's ever upset. They're just like, oh yeah, yeah. that's okay. Take time for yourself. And I'm like, you guys are so nice to me. Thank you, random person, for the one gifted... <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you. Um, Pastor, honest question. Will you make volume one your first video back or will it be something else? Um, I don't really know. I know that's an unsatisfying answer, but I don't really know. I could post something else to, uh, you know, tie, I like, tie people over whenever I come back to it. It's the end of the day. YouTube is my job. I can't just not upload forever. Yeah. Um, However, I could just wait until volume one is fi finished to have it be like, oh, my big dramatic return. Because I did that with my Ringu video. I did my Ringu videos, my big dramatic return. I posted that Poppy Playtime video. That video popped off and then I promptly vanished again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm going to keep it a stack. Um, you, did you get all the animal heads? I don't, I, I guess not because nothing happened, but I don't know. Where else to look? I need a key for that box there. Get out of the fucking... Is this not the one I opened? Okay, maybe I opened the other one. It's 
Someone in chat said Plaster's too good a content creator to stress them out and possibly make vanish. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That rings. I didn't- Oh, interesting. Oh, and there's a bear trap. Fuck. Yeah, this level I remember being, like, the most annoying in the game, aside from, uh, aside from the ending because of glitches and whatnot. I need to fix map. I need to touch You got heads. the one up there in the rafters. You got the one from the bear. A Hello Neighbor lore stream would go so hard. That would be like all new material for me. I mm -hmm. I do not know the lore of this game, despite the fact that like you know I've consumed a lot of media for it at this point. Yeah, I've considered doing a stream of just like trying to find the lore out, like watching some videos, um, going through the wiki and shit, love talking to chat about it. Since the show video. Wait, there's something... How the fuck am I supposed to open that? Okay. Um, I've thought about doing, like, a... A Hello Neighbor research stream, I guess? Studying the neighbor lore. Studying the neighbor. Fuck me, man. I have no idea. Um... <laughs> Oh, hi. <clears throat> I just... I could have sworn that something happened whenever you got all the heads, so I feel like... I feel like I must be missing one. Or maybe more than one. At the very least one. God damn it. Okay, hi. Don't shoot me, please. Bring back the baker lady. I miss Gerda. She is better than this guy. No, to the person in chat who asks, I'm never gonna cover Garten of Ban Ban. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like, I know you, you didn't even want to when the game came out. Now there's no reason to, because everyone's already saying the same things. I'm going to be real. I don't know if I'm going to talk about the next one. Well, I'm going to stream it. I will always stream them. But I don't know if I'm going to make a video on the next one. I probably will. Here's 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 the condition, the two conditions if, if I will talk about Bandman 7 in a video is... If it's the worst in the series, or if it's the best in the series. Because if it's just like the others, I'm probably not going to bother, because I didn't even really care to make... I didn't even care to talk about 4 or 6. 6 I did a little bit more, because I, I think it's the worst one. Um, but if 7 is the worst one, I will talk about it. If it's the best one, I will talk about it. Because... I don't know, I think... I will say this... I'm not going to be too charitable, but I will say this. Bandman 7 has the highest chance I've seen of a Bandman game being good, because they're finally changing the way the drone works. And I like that. Because the drone... They're actually doing exactly what the drone should have been from the very start. That I like. I'm excited to see that. But... I don't, I don't know. All it, all it took was six entries in the series for them to make something with potential. Yeah. And they had to skip the fifth installment. They did have to skip the fifth. It's, it'll be good, though, trust. Oh, yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know what's happening. Chat, anyone in chat want to help? You know, Wait, are they timed? Wait, I think oh. it might be timed, because they're going from green to yellow, and I hear a ticking sound. I think they're timed. I think I need to, like, get them all within a period, within a, like, certain period of time. 
The boar heads are timed. Okay. Ticking. <laughs> yes, ticking. Call me Sastral Epiph. Hello! Oh, hi. <gasps> Bro goes to chase you, but he doesn't realize he's fighting the parkour master who just leaps True. onto his roof the second he sees danger. Fuck, but I can't avoid bear traps. steps in a bear trap. It's okay, he's got the padded jaws add on. You'll be fine. Okay, so that's one of them. I don't know how many there are. Chat, you want to tell me how many there are? Then you know. Oh, hi. Okay, four. I thought there were four. Are there four? Fuck off. Okay, there are four. Fuck, I got shot! Man, shout out to this guy actually just shooting you. And yet we can't get a spring trap plush with a knife. Yeah, right? <laughs> Even though he has a knife in the movie! Yeah, and even though the books describe the most gruesome shit the human mind can, have, like, imagine. <laughs> the ones published by Schoolastic. For kids! For babies. The little babies over here reading about two teenage girls getting spring-locked in a pig costume and climbing through each other's entrails, but Spring Bonnie can't have a knife. Also, shout-out to... <laughs> When the spring body plush came out and it was changed to a pizza cutter, Daco said, or it might have just been Hex brand, but you know, uh, he said, um, the pizza cutter makes sense for spring Bonnie because it's the actual mascot. We'll have to wait for the spring trap plush. The spring trap plush comes out and they replace the knife with a cupcake. Yeah. Also, yeah, to the people in chat saying what? That actually happened in one of the books. There is a book about two teenage girls who get caught inside of a springlock pig costume. One of them gets shredded up so badly by the costume that uh, the other friend who's trapped inside with her has to sift through her body parts to open up the suit and she gets crushed too and they both die and that's how the story ends. It's pretty pog. That is an actual Fazbear Fright story. Yeah. I have I not exaggerated any of that. That is in the Fazbear Frights books, but Springtrap can't have a knife. Oh, and Freddy can't mention blood in Security Breach. True. I'm struggling to find the fourth head. Um, I'm, I'm trying to remember I'm which myself. book. It was, yeah, Together Forever. That's the name of the story. I remember I listened to Daco do an analysis of it. And even Daco the entire time was like, this book is so dark. Deception. Because, you know, he's from yeah. that game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Poor kids at the book fair. <laughs> Darker from Dark Deception, yes. Yeah. See, of course, Random Stuff Gaming is the one to respond to that because he's the best Dark Deception tuber. Oh, of course. Head! Right head! Okay. <laughs> Love head. So you get that one All up right. there. Alright, let's fucking. Two... Um, let's go for it. Okay. I don't know what the time is like for this. I have no idea, in fact. I'm assuming it's going to be decently generous. Did, did I do it? I don't... What did that do? If anything... What did that do? Chat, do you know if I did in time? I'm hearing sounds. Did I do it? Thank you, random person, for becoming a member. You are now a bad bitch. Okay, I did it. There are not so Dark Deception that... books now. So you did it, but what did that do? I guess I'm supposed to find out for myself. Um... Oh, it opened the microwave. Oh, that's really funny. Okay. The boar heads opened microwave. I'm so not putting this in the right place. <laughs> did 
There we go. Okay. Huge. <clears throat> Hi, there. Complex way to microwave ramen. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. So there's still more pieces. I'm gonna key. Does he have like a key on him? Is it one of those deals? My, can I cut open any pillows? Pillows, pillows. Ow! I got shot. This guy. Pillow. Key. I'm out of here. Goodbye. <laughs> I really love, like, imagining this game from the perspective of anything but it being a game. <laughs> Just this random journalist running around the neighborhood, breaking into each person's house and stealing shit from them and solving puzzles, and then when they see them jumping out the window. That map broke a window. Is it made of concrete? <laughs> Don't worry about it. What is that paper made of? Don't worry about it, Zach. Just run with it. I'm so worried about it. <laughs> nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. Where am I going? I don't know. Don't worry about it. We don't need to know where we're going. What matters is... I don't know. Something. I'm sure something matters. Something has to matter in this godforsaken life. You have been shot like four times. I keep getting kicking. shot. Okay, that's one more piece, I assume. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Close. Bitch, why am I so fat? Um. Hi! Ooh, this is awkward. I'm just gaming! Cut! Fuck! No, wait, buddy, let's talk about this. No, I've been shot again! <laughs> Bro is doing the <laughs> finger wag at a distance. <laughs> Where am I going? Where? Oh my god. We might be able to beat this game. Maybe. I don't know. Zach, what do you think our chances of beating this game this stream are? Um, we have two levels after this, including bonus content that we saw with the guest. Uh, we, well, I could save bonus content for another day. Because after this, we have to do the mayor's, like, house, which is definitely the biggest area in the game. But And then we okay. have to do the rest of the museum with the neighbor. So, okay. we've, so, like, yeah. All right. Don't shoot, don't shoot. <laughs> okay. Someone in the chat says y'all mm. forgot about the DLCs. Do we intend on doing the DLCs? Uh, I'm, I plan on doing those for like an entirely different stream. I plan on... Well, I don't know how long each of them are if people in chat want to tell me. Um, I was thinking of doing all DLCs in one stream another day. Mm hmm Because there are three. There are three paid-for DLCs for Hello Neighbor 2, which seems excessive. What the fuck? But... Hi. He gasps so weird. The DLCs literally do not have endings. Like, actually, there just isn't an ending. What does that mean? What do they do? Like, I'm no, I'm pretty sure from what I heard, you cannot finish the DLCs. Wait, this is a thing. FBFC. Oh, that is a thing. I have not seen the letters anywhere, and I've been shot. Wait, what are the DLCs? Okay, hang on. <laughs> I'm gonna quickly look at the Steam page. I'm curious. You've peaked yeah, my like interest. Yeah, like, if I'm recalling... Where are the three, then? Yeah, okay, okay. Random Stuff Gaming in chat is confirming what I believe to be the case, but I wasn't remembering too well. 
you play, you solve the puzzles until there's no puzzles left to solve, and then it just stops. Like, there is no roll credits, there is no cutscene, there is nothing. It just, you solve the puzzles, and then there's no more game. This should be illegal, then. <laughs> yeah, like, these. it's not even like... And it's like it's not even like what I what I uh, described with Hello Neighbor 2's like main ending, where you know a cutscene happens and then randomly it cuts to credits. No, there is no credits. You just keep playing in a game that has no content left. That's the DLC's ending. Bro, all the DLCs combined are only like four dollars less than the full game. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, then I guess we probably won't do them. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. I have an idea in mind. And if I go through with this idea, I'll play them. But I don't know. We'll see. Um. You can tell it's bad when Theodore Masters Peterson in chat says Steel Wool didn't give a shit about the DLCs. I'm confused why Steel Wool ever worked on Hello Neighbor. Like, and that's like that's not disrespectful towards Hello Neighbor. It's just that Steel Wool released two Five Nights at Freddy's games the same year as the Hello Neighbor VR game. Like, I mean, Tiny Build almost went out of business. Maybe all of their money did go to Steel Wool, and that's why it happened. But, like, I feel like, I don't know, I'm just, yo, bad as special people, my new tweets. Oh, no. What, Johnny, what happened? <laughs> what did he mean by this? What, what, what's right. going on in the Johnny Blocks account? Blumhouse is reportedly interested in expanding the Five Nights at Freddy's film franchise with possible spin-offs. Huh? <laughs> Great, huh? I guess. Excuse me? Why, though? What do... What... Possible spin-offs, what does that entail? So, like... If we're talking spin-offs, are we talking like are we are we talking like a potential FNAF TV show? Oh, I thought they meant like I was thinking like other movies but aren't like connected to the main story that's going on in the current presumably oh, trilogy. Oh, spin-off films. That's what I was thinking. I don't know. Interesting. See, my immediate thought here in that was FNAF TV shows, which like, you know, if I'm being real, like FNAF TV show in the same style as a movie would be kind of fire. I'm kind of shocked FNAF has never done a TV show. Maybe it's Cause been talked like, about and just hasn't happened, but yeah, I'm kind of surprised by that. Because, like, okay, the thing is, like, we, we've been shit-talking the FNAF game so much today, and a lot of FNAF stuff. However, that FNAF movie, I love it so much. It is, it is so good. I love the, yeah, I love the movie. I love the FNAF movie. Like, if, if they're talking about making more stuff with the FNAF movie universe, I am hooked because that movie was fire. Yeah, critics have no soul. Actually, I, I, I want to check something. I'm, I'm just curious. Uh, 2023 film. Oh, man. Okay, not even this one could. Okay. I wanted to see which Blumhouse movie had a higher rating between the FNAF movie and Imaginary. FNAF movie still came out on top. I just really wish... I, just, I was just really hoping Imaginary somehow managed to get a higher score. Yeah, like... I just think the only issue with the FNAF movie that makes critics hate it so much is the fact that it relies on plot points that the movie expects fans to watch and understand before they see the movie. So when somebody like a critic who doesn't know what the hell a Freddy Fazbear is goes to see the movie and they don't immediately get the plot points because they didn't play the games, they just think the movie's shit. But when a fan goes in there, watches that movie and sees stuff from the games that they recognize, they understand the plot points, and, you know, they, they get a lot more enjoyment out of it because they're getting the experience that was intended. Yeah. Like, no critic who goes to see the movie is going to believe that... is going to, like, see Golden Freddy and think, oh, that's a completely different character with different lore. They're gonna be like, why the fuck did Freddy Fazbear just teleport into Mike's house? And that's what happened. Because they did not make a good enough distinction between the two characters in the movie. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the fans couldn't even tell who was who. Um, I know, like, they did not make a good enough distinction in the movie. Also, um, chat. And <laughs> just want to say, imaginary, <laughs> imaginary is a horror movie about a living stuffed bear made by Blumhouse. 
<laughs> Just that, that's all you gotta know. Bird. Bird. You think the FNAF movie experience being exclusive makes it in a, makes it effective? Like, does it add to it in a positive way? I, I think it's a problem. I think a movie relying entirely on you having played the games beforehand actually is an issue. However, I don't really care because I played the games, so I got the full experience. Yeah, I feel so like... It was... Yeah, as far as releasing a film goes, that's a problem. But, like, for us, it's... Oh, what the fuck? For us, it's like... Whatever. As far as the film goes, that does... That is a flaw of the film. But, you know, we're FNAF fans. We don't give a shit. We know what the movie was talking about. Uh-huh. Okay, so I'm just supposed to run around and hopefully find letters. <laughs> That's what I'm supposed to do. I just I'm just have to hope and pray I find letters. Yeah, this level's annoying. Yeah, if there are... <laughs> yeah, if the next level after this is a longer one, I think we can end stream after... After this day, and then after the night that follows it, I guess? Yeah, honestly, that would be that would be nice, too, because we've done, you know... We've done, like, three major sections here. Or, uh, I guess we've done, we done four, but, like, you know, we did half of the museum, so I'm counting as three major sections. And then that would give us three more major sections the next time we play this. Is that your way of saying you would join me for a part two? Yes, that is my way of saying I would join for a part two. Okay, that's huge. All right. We'll talk about that then. Uh, okay, well... <laughs> uh, generally speaking, I actually like this game. I think this game is pretty cool. Pretty good. Does anyone want to, like, tell me how to find the letters? Because this part is a little not good. Because, like, I'm just supposed to find these... I'm just supposed to find letters? Does anyone, like, point me in the right direction? Because, like... People are saying to get to the top of the roof. I can do that. And also, yeah, I will say, you come to them this earlier, and I, I I hadn't played the game enough to realize the significant difference. This game does, platforming-wise and just physics and movement-wise, it feels so much nicer than the first. It does feel much more satisfying to uh, do this, this goofy uh, parkour and shit. It, yeah, it, it does feel oh nice. Platforming was the worst thing they ever put into Hello Neighbor 1. It was supposed to be a stealth-based puzzle horror game, and they included platforming for the majority of the puzzles. And, like, that, it just conflicted so badly with the game. It... I feel like I'm supposed to be able to get through here. I don't know how, though. Because there's nothing I can, like, remove. Oh, wait, can I... Okay, I can go more up. There you go. Am I not supposed to be able to go in there? Or can I... This way. Okay. Shovel. I got shovel now. Shovel. Oh, wait, am I leaving footprint? I am. <laughs> yeah, because you're all covered in yellow paint. I have been pissed on... Do you think I Hello Neighbor could have used a little platforming to add an effective kind of scare to the game? Like, ooh, I have to parkour, but it makes noise. I'm so scared. No, because that's not what the that's not what the gameplay design is. You can't just add spooky sounds to something that conflicts with the way the game is designed, and then it's a a good idea. Yeah. So it conflicts with the game design. Like I don't know. That, that that to me that feels like the equivalent of like playing FNAF one. But randomly, you're given a, a shitty pistol. But ooh, the pistol makes a rattling sound as if when you go to pull the trigger, it won't work. Like, you still have a shitty pistol in FNAF 1 that conflicts with the gameplay design. Hi. <laughs> okay. So now I need B. 
You need the letter B. The B's knees. You two guys are pretends. Huh? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Seems like something I should be able to open. Uh. Hmm. Why do I keep doing this same thing? <laughs> Strange that the AI doesn't jump. Yeah, I'm used to Mr. Peterson pulling out his big funny vacuum. <laughs> Although it would have been funny if this NPC in this level just straight up shot you and you just have this animation of your character flopping over dead from the roof. I would appreciate that. Truly and honestly. Okay, they're in there. <laughs> He's taking a shit. I'm sorry. Sir, I will leave your house if you show me where I can find a letter B. Ow! I just want a letter B. I just... Someone in chat says, look in the trophy room for it. What the fuck does that even mean? Second floor trophy room. You know what I think this game would benefit a lot from? What? So, I think it would benefit a lot from the enemies in the levels being able to roam around the houses as they do when you're running around trying to collect stuff. But in the main rooms where the puzzles you need to progress the game are, the enemies cannot enter those areas. Because, like, I think, like, for example, Resident Evil 2 with Mr. X, everyone always talks about, ooh, he's this big roaming enemy that's super scary and is always chasing you. What makes him work is the fact that he is like that, but not in the rooms where the major puzzles are that you absolutely need to do to solve the game. I think levels like this one would be a lot less annoying if, like, you know, you were just able to go there and do the puzzles without them constantly breaking into the room and slapping you. Yeah, that's fair. Is this trophy room? I don't think this is trophy I haven't seen trophies in this place, is the thing. Everywhere kind of looks like a trophy room. Yeah, because he has his, like, Possessions everywhere. Is this the room? Hi. People are saying this is the room. People that, are saying well, this I'm is the room. Well, I'm being shot now. Okay, that's the room? Okay, I will go back there now and not get shot. I don't know if they're going for horror at this point, but the constant encounters make it less scary. You see, that's what I'm saying. True. I think the encounters with the characters would work a lot better if they were in environments where it was clear that this is where the enemies roam around. But then the areas where you absolutely need to go to, uh, like, do the main puzzles, those are kind of like safe rooms. As because that way it goes from being annoying to potentially still being scary after a while. See, and it, I'm, I'm, this is something that pisses me off all the fucking time. Is that is like um, you uh I whenever because like I rank these games all the time, and people for games like Hello Neighbor, the new Hello Neighbor games, and Baldi they say it a lot. They always fucking say these games are not horror games. So you can't judge them as horror games, and for fucking like all of them, all of them, if you go to the fucking Steam page, it says they are puzzle horror games. If they describe it as a horror game. Then I'm going to judge it as a horror game. Uh, that's the thing. If it's if it's advertising itself as such, and people are treating it like, ooh, this spooky, scary game, then it should be judged as one. A horror game doesn't necessarily need to be scary to be a good game. 
there are plenty of good horror games that I think are just, you know, fun to play but aren't very scary. But, you know, if the game design is also not the best... Yeah, like, people keep fucking telling so yeah, me... It's totally up there. It's up here? I'm trying to see yeah, it. Yeah, totally up I'm, there. I just can't fucking notice it for some reason. Like, people always fucking tell me, Baldi's Plus isn't a horror game. Why does it say psychological horror on the fucking Steam page, then? It's just unfinished, because the dev will never fucking finish that game. Yeah, the funny thing is, actually, I remember watching, like, a video... B! ...on Go the ahead. behind the scenes of Baldi's Plus, where the developer straight up said that he removed a lot of the scary elements from Baldi's Plus on purpose to make it more of just, like, you know... A game you play for the fun challenge rather than a scary game. Which is why I like it less than the original. I like the original yeah. more because I like its horror elements. It's not a very scary like... game. It never has been, but I like it. I No, I agree. I like the horror elements of the original Baldi's a lot. Like, nothing in Plus rivals the moment of getting all the notebooks and the get out while you still can sequence. Nothing, just like... nothing rivals how fucking cool that is to see for the first time. Also, just like going into the Damn. game... And, you know, having it be this fun little edge, like, what was it called? Edutainment game? Is that, yeah. what, is that what they're called? Edutainment, yeah. Um, and then suddenly you get a question wrong and all the music stops and suddenly you see Baldi looking super angry and all you hear is the sound of his, like, ruler as he's getting closer to you. Like, obviously it's not, like, pants-shittingly terrifying, but the first time you play the game, it's kind of unnerving to experience that. Yeah. I, I, I still like that stuff. That's why I still... Like, Baldi's Plus is, like, kind of fun. It's an okay time. I don't dislike it. I, I used to say I dislike it quite a bit. Again, more so because it just pisses me off that that game is somehow not finished. But, <laughs> but yeah, Baldi's Plus is like a fun enough time, but I will always like the original more uh, as, as long as it still has the horror elements and Plus doesn't. I do appreciate that Baldi's Plus did get an update recently. Yeah, the new character is cool. Uh, it, was, it, was a, it was a good update, I'd say. I like the new character quite a lot. He's silly. Yeah, I just Okay, I did yeah, this. What do I do now? <laughs> what the fuck? What uh, is what did this do? Yeah, what was that what was that for? Do I have to interact with the other ones now? I don't I tried to open the... the drawer. Okay, I was gonna say I tried to open the drawer below it, but I didn't I didn't, I didn't, I didn't... Look at the bookshelf, look at the drawer. Those are different things. Hello Neighbor 2 is a little scary at sometimes, but it isn't entirely scary. I just don't think Hello Neighbor 2 is scary. I think oh, this the fucking... guest section we played was pretty neat. Yeah, I'm looking forward to doing that again. Later. Am I supposed to do something with this code? 01846? 08416. Oh, is that what it What order am I doing? What is this? <laughs> Wait, what is the order of this, actually? Yeah. Uh... I'm gonna go to the X. Okay. Zero. Okay. I'm gonna say it's zero one eight four six. When will you post on your channel next time? When I feel like it. Zero one eight four six. Is it this fucking thing? No. Okay, it's not there. I don't know how far away I'm supposed to go. Hi, buddy. Zero, one, eight, four, six. Hi. No, It Steals was never in my top ten favorite games. It was a cool indie game I made a video about, but it was never in my top ten. At one point, you put it in your top 10 horror games. I don't know if yeah, at one point, I that, put it in my but... top 10 horror games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, at the time, I had a bit more of like a limited pool of horror games I played. Uh, it might still be there now, but if we're just talking games in general, it was never there. Yeah, yeah. Owie. Because contrary to popular belief, the majority of the games I've played are not horror games. Yeah, same. Most of my top 25 is like classic Nintendo titles. Most of the games I've played are like RPGs, Metroidvanias, mm -hmm. a lot of fighting games. 
Yeah, I know you like a good fighting game. I love fighting games. <clears throat> uh, it's near his chair outside. Well, this is a chair. Is it something like with the, I don't know. I don't see anything that like would make sense to put a code into me. There should be like a mound of dirt. A mound of dirt? Yeah, like a dirt mound. Past your favorite fighting game? Probably Guilty Gear. I think Guilty Gear Strive is my favorite. That game is great. Is it this? What is this? Uh, you can always check the map again if you're lost. I don't know. It seems glaringly obvious. I just literally cannot fucking find it. <laughs> That's like, is this the entrance of the house? It can't. No, it can't be, can it? You would like Guilty Gear slash bullying. Is that an actual tone indicator slash bullying? <laughs> I've never seen that. I like it though. I'm a fan. I've never seen someone use that tone indicator before. We should get more of those. We should get more tone indicators that aren't like slash J or you know, like a nice single letter that's like, we should get one that's like slash I'm being a dick. Slash True. I hate you. Well, yeah, this, there is slash derogatory. That is a thing. Yeah, I know about <laughs> that one. I know about that one. I've never seen someone, like, using using it, but... Yeah, I've um, been using it as a I joke. I don't exist. Can this guy, like, go away? Okay, I'm still on the line, apparently. Where, where does your property end? Okay, chat. I'm I'm losing my goddamn mind. I I I clear. I've clear. I've clearly lost it. I don't. I can't. I don't know where I'm supposed to put this fucking code. Like, I'm I'm clearly I'm clearly too dumb for neighbor. Dirt mound near a bench. I haven't seen a bench. <laughs> what are your thoughts on Bendy the Cage? It sure isn't out yet. That is true. It's sure gonna release sometime. This year, apparently, which is cool. Which is really exciting. Yeah, I'm I, I'm kind of surprised it's coming out this year, honestly. Like, when it was announced, I did not expect it to come out that soon. Thank you, Wandering Rock, for becoming a member. You're now a bad bitch. <laughs> At the front of the house by the water. Actually insane how no one used that for wording before. Front of the house by the water. How by the water? Like, how near the water are we talking? I think that's it. I hate this guy. Bench. Okay, I found bench and dirt. The fuck is this? Oh, there it is. What that's is your dirt mound. Okay. Uh, get where the thing? Chuvla. Do I have to go get it again? I have to go get it again, don't I? I'm killing go myself. Go get your shovel. Killing myself IRL. Goodbye. Actually insane how nobody else said, by the water. I saw some people saying right there, which is I the hate... least helpful thing ever. Yeah, chat. I'm, I'm going to say this on behalf of every streamer ever. If you have ever put right there in a stream chat when a streamer asked where to go or where something was, you deserve nothing but bad things to happen to you. Like, truly and honestly. <laughs> I say that on behalf of everybody that's ever been on a live stream. <laughs> it's under there. Johnny, I hate you. <laughs> uh, can't believe I'm playing doors with this guy tomorrow. Uh, I think you should all see this energy. Wait, no, fuck. I meant to hit roof. I meant to hit roof. How come... Okay, no, I have it now. Yeah, okay, is it like if you... 
Does this game work if you get caught, you lose stuff, but if you just die to something else, you don't lose stuff? Is that how this game works? I genuinely don't know. We'll just... <laughs> I, we're just, gonna go we with that. We have the shovel now. We're gonna we go with that. We have the shovel now. <laughs> Okay, it's fucking like. How do I? Okay, it's first one is zero. It's it's zero one for sure. Wow, this is slow. <laughs> Are you fucking like, serious, bruh? It was like zero eight. I think it was zero one eight six four. Oh wait 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 wait. Um, colors. Go back, Fuck, go back there are the colors. Yeah, there were colored pins. God damn it. Uh, I'm killing myself. <laughs> this guy is fucking bear trap. <laughs> Johnny blocks those 1987 for an Easter egg. <laughs> it's too many numbers, Johnny. <laughs> okay. <Fuck>. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Shit. Well, now I don't remember what the order of the colors on the safe was. Yeah, this. And this... <laughs> okay, I'm this asshole. I'm starting to get what you were saying about how you should get like a. Uh... Somewhere in the puzzle zones. They See, shouldn't be able to get... this is what I've been saying. Okay, I'm, like, I'm, I'm picking up what you're putting down. The reason why stalker enemies and stuff like Resident Evil games work is because they are limited to locations where you don't need to solve integral puzzles. Okay, blue, purple, blue. white, red, green. Blue, I hate you. What was it? Blue, purple, red, white, green? Blue, purple... Shit. I think blue, purple, white, red, green. I think that's what it was. I'm Hold so, on. I, I'm going to write it down. I have a sticky note. I have a sticky note in front of me. Okay. You want me to write it down or? I mean, we both can, but. Okay. I I'm going to write it. it down on a sticky note. I'm still going to check the order one more time. Yes. B P W R G. Yes. Okay. The chat is literally putting the putting the code. That's cool. But like, you know, the point of playing a video <laughs> game is so that you can figure it out yourself. <laughs> I want to do it myself. I'm independent. That's the crazy thing. I'm an adult. <laughs> All right. Let us figure out the game ourselves. Blue is eight. Purple is zero. W one. Uh, red six and green is four. All right. I like how I said that and then immediately someone sent the code as if they just did not hear me. <laughs> <laughs> the baddest imposter fans are having a worst fan base off. Um, slash J. Um, can you please go away? Stop please. shooting me! Please. <laughs> Please stop shooting me. Okay. This goes so slow. So it is these. It is like this was designed to be the most annoying puzzle ever. Eight. Zero. One. Hi. Six. If this ends up being wrong. Four. Oh, thank God. Okay. Book Holy key. shit. Book key. Book. Okay. And now we go to Siuum. 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 Sayori. Rest in peace. Ah, uh, God. Well, if it makes you feel any better, that was probably the worst house in the game. Okay. Huge. Because I remember, like, that part being annoying, but then the house after was big, but not nearly as bad. Like the baddest. Exactly. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> and hey, shout out to the stream not crashing for three hours. It's pretty huge. Uh, see you, um. See you, um. You, um. What the fuck is it? 
Oh wait, that's where I. That's that's, a... that's, uh, that's the that that thing. I can't think right now. God, my brain is fried. <laughs> <laughs> where am I going? <laughs> am I stupid? Yes. Flamingos. 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 <laughs> Flamingo. You know what those oh, lawn flamingos oh. make me think of? Do you remember the Smosh skits with the neighbor? Yes. That damn neighbor. Holy shit, I wonder if that inspired Hello Neighbor. I was actually watching Smosh today. <laughs> Were you? <laughs> I was watching the new skits with Ian and Anthony because I remembered that they got the channel back and they were actually pretty funny. Yeah. That damn neighbor. I also Touching was watching some of their. I was watching some of their old videos that I used to watch back when I was like a wee little lad, and I was like, "Oh my god, I remember when this video came out. Oh, this is so fun. How old is this video? It's it's 11 years old. This video is 11 it's years terrifying. old. Terrifying. Oh my god, this video is 11 years old. Oh, the concept of time is terrifying. It really is. <laughs> Seeing videos from my childhood with a time marker telling me that it's an 11 year old video was the worst. Where's the CUM? I don't remember. I can't think right now. I'm just, I'm, I'm too, I'm too brain dead from the safe. And also now I'm thinking about Smosh. Is that the CUM? That's different. That's, that's not the CUM. That's something else. It that was around, but it was near the base. Oh, it's the one up there. There it is. <laughs> Random stuff gaming in chat. It's right there. I'm gonna kill you one day. You're lucky I love your videos so much. Random stuff gaming is one of my favorite creators in this space. He's so fucking funny. Alright, I have book key. Neighbor. Neighbor, where book key go? Neighbor. Neighbor. I love neighbor. That's definitely not the... Yeah, it's not the one. Key. Key. Okay. Clock. Another safe. Clock. Clock. Okay. I love hidden doors. I love doors, Roblox. That's why I do not love it. I think it's okay. Oh, wait, there's another pressure plate thingy. Okay, X so we need to go to Oh, Theo, don't you do that. No, buddy, buddy. Ah! I thought you were just gonna get into a battle of constantly closing the door. I tried face. to! Um, You'll never catch me alive! Oh my god, you actually can jump on the birdie. You can. I'm birding up! Fucking door did I open? <laughs> nope, it was not that one. Theo, buddy. Okay. I think this is telling me that the time on the clock is for this. I'm pretty sure. Okay. So I'm assuming the time on the clock is just the digits for that. Yes. Where is there a clock? Theo, you want to tell me where the clock is? Theo, buddy. That's not helpful. There's no way it's that. <laughs> is it all sixes? That'd be 630. Is it zero? Okay, so, zero, six, three, zero? Fuck it, yeah, let's go with that. That seems strange, but it might just be that, yeah. He's so fast. Eh. Mm. 
there's no zeros. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. So, it's not that. Um, it uh, is not that. All sixes. Wait, how many? What? Okay, how I guess many, when I. How is this? Okay, I guess when I put it in, it'll just open. So I need to figure out how many it is myself. I don't. Are there are, are there more clocks? Is there another big clock? Theodore, you want to show me your big, hard wooden clock? Show us where it is, my friend. Ah! He didn't like my penis joke. It, I, I don't. I don't. I, wait, do I need to put it together? I need to put it together. That's what oh, it is. Oh, you need to collect the gears. Uh huh. <laughs> you bitch. You bitch! You've covered him in paint, now he must go shower. <laughs> Did he actually just go to shower? I don't know. Regardless, he he's gone. He's gone. Uh, okay, gears for a clock. Gears of neighbor. <laughs> can you see me, Mr. Peterson, fully clothed in the shower? I don't know if you can in this game. You definitely can in old neighbor games. I remember one time we were playing, I think it was the stream where we played Hello Bendy. Um, I accidentally, note that this was accidentally opened a debug menu. Um, and I, uh, started doing, like, a free cam around, and I went to find the neighbor, um, and he was pissing. Like, I'm, like, he, he like, he actually was, he was, he was standing by the toilet, and there was a pissing sound. Oh. It was Shout great. neighbor pissing. Yeah. Johnny says definitely wasn't accidental. Are you telling me you can't believe that in an old Hello Neighbor build, I was able to access the debug menu without much effort? Is that really hard for you to believe? I was just fucking playing around doing shit and I accidentally hit a wrong button. What patch is this? Patch 9 I think they're on? It's the latest build. Fuck you! Um, I believe you sought out him pissing. Oh, no, that part, yes, that part, absolutely. Um, but I didn't mean to get in a debug menu. You love piss, top three beverage. Piss is a top three beverage. Um, it is three on that list, but it is top three. Um, I don't know where, I have no idea where I could possibly get gears. Well, you were only able to access one, one of these. You were only able to access one door with that new key you got. Yep. Is he asleep? Nope. Nope. <laughs> I thought I heard something like snoring for a second there. I think it's just, just one of his. Yeah, thing. one of his fucking grunts. He's like Gruntilda. Um. I love this game. It has never given me trauma ever. Absolutely not never ever. That is absurd, says David Baron. I mean, I guess you played this like in the sea of a bunch of other not very good games. And you played it like alongside the first game. But like this game is fine. I really can't imagine this game causing much trauma. But, say, Hello Neighbor 2 is really not that bad. But I guess the context at which you played it in was probably not preferable. Um. Are we about, to, are we about to have another Dratz I'm straight moment? I'm in the bed, ready for you, Theo. He's contemplating it. He's unsure. Okay, brother. He can't follow you when you're on the bed. 
He looks so confused. That's weird, though. Because, yeah, he... Okay, he can't reach me, but... He huh. just doesn't know what to do. I kind of feel bad. Classic <clears throat> real engine pathing. Door? Door. Um, right, there is this room. But there's, like, nothing fucking in here. There was just a key in here. Now we have climbed. Oh? I don't think there's anything here. You need to specifically program it to do otherwise. The basic AI programming is just cannot pre-reach player, I sit. I respect that. I don't know. I don't know. Zach, am I stupid? Don't answer that. Option. I mean, I don't know where the gears are either. Yeah, there's fucking three of them, apparently. Did not mean to press right away. Look in the safe room. Do you know what that means? <laughs> What's safe room? The room with the safe. Like here? No, the one upstairs. Oh, okay. I don't know, I just remember that safe. Theo, don't mind me. Just hanging out, okay? Uh, okay, that's outside. Okay, safe room. Theo, calm down, buddy. Bye, bitch. Um. You still in there, buddy? He's just so upset about you closing that door in his face. I didn't mean it, I'm sorry. Erm. Okay, that's a thing you can do, I guess. Why he yellow? Uh, cause I threw paint at him. Yeah, and he doesn't have a shower, so he just has to live with it now. And I'd, I'd say I feel bad, but I don't like to lie. Car room does seem like a logical place for there to be gears. Also, I like that we're calling this car room instead of just a garage. What is this? What What is this? Is it a... Is it a door handle? It is. It is. What did that do? Can I, like, put the car back together? It's like Granny. My it's... favorite game. You love Granny. Don't you now own the whole series? I do, because... <laughs> Iconic YouTuber, oh uh, yeah, bought me the whole trilogy as a birthday present. <laughs> Wait, there's a head here. Could I take this to the hunter's place? Maybe? Huh. John McLong, actually incredible name. Thank you for the $5. Big fan of both of you, Elsa Pastor. Have you ever played Project Playtime? I have forced to play, pro I have forced Zach to play Project many a time. Yeah. Just I not really. enjoy it, too. Yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. They just need to change the game. <laughs> they need to fix it. But it I just mean. It needs to get content. It was a fun game, yeah. Um. Um. 
Um, Chat, what room are the gear is in? Yeah, just yeah, this one. Just give me, some, give me, give me some kind of something. All right, and I am timing out David Baron. Um, <laughs> there we go. Um. <laughs> Pastor, what's the... Oh my god, David Barron was actually times <laughs> Pastor, what's the worst pain you've ever felt? Um, a gear posting a piece of creepy artwork of one of my characters and somebody telling me that I should make an analog horror series someday. <laughs> How do I I think that's. I think that takes the cake. Oh, do I just... Wait. Huh? Oh, wait, he's actually stuck there. Oh, this is great. Okay. I guess I can get this done then. Okay, I... The... Uh... Okay. Sure, that works. <laughs> um, where am I going? Uh, here. Clock. Okay. Uh, I think there's one what? in the car. I think someone said car room. I think there is one in car room. I think it was like a part of the car. Do I need something to open the car? Bam! All right, I thought that, I thought that'd work. All right. Um, it was it was a good try. It was, it was a good, good attempt. Good attempt. Um, what would I need? Some people are saying you need to get the metal bird in the globe room. <laughs> Okay. Oh, is that like the... Uh, what do you call that? The, the, like, charm at the front of a car. Does that have a name? Oh, yeah. The car bling. The car bling. He's stuck contemplating his is straightness. this? No. It should be in a cave? It's not There's no this. way that someone in chat on ironically just said it's right there. Well, I mean it is though. Oh, it's this one. It's not the gold one. Okay, I thought it was the gold one. Wait. There we go. Hello. Okay. Here we go. It's a bit finicky, but you got it. I got it, I got it, I got it. I'm gaming, I'm gaming, I'm gaming like the age. Okay, one more. Um, fuck. Okay. Both of the gears were in that one room. In the car like room? Stuff, not in the car room, but I mean like... Oh, both stuff Both of the forward. ways you got those gears was in that room. That is true. Also, I just made a lot of noise, so I think... I think Theo is just a... Yeah. Oh, oh, you freed him. You freed him I from did his not. time. Oh, no, you did not. Never mind. Yeah, by doing that little door trick that I thought was actually a bad idea, did just get him stuck. Mm. Damn it, now the chase music won't go away. <laughs> um, At least it's not the friggin' Hello Neighbor 1 guitar that just goes... Yeah, that was... Yeah. It's so dumb, because... I mean, we've talked about this a million times, but the... But the the uh the ones from the alpha like the original the original original one was like so much better it was um, it really really was because it was like actually freaky like when you would hear that sound it was actually fucking panic inducing um okay thank you pap over the ten dollars neighbor it is so neighbor oh wait yeah wait there's a pressure okay wait yeah the dumbbell or just a weight of some kind. Is there a weight in this room? I'm seeing people saying that there should be a box. Uh, there's a few boxes. Is it this box? This box. Okay, I'm trying to there get not close. I'm trying to not get close to the neighbor. Because <laughs> I know if I touch him, I'll still die. Um, where was that? Pressure that? Thing is, that pressure plate was in the room that you opened up the wall for. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that again. <laughs> I'm gonna have to free the neighbor. Actually, no. 
Does this... Is this the same room? Is AI or just my permanently be stuck No, this now? is the same room. Oh! Okay. Oh, there you go. Oh. What? Huh? Okay. Thank you. There okay. we and there's the code. So it's 11:35. 11:35. I wonder if any of the kids that played this game couldn't do it because they don't know how to tell time. I can barely read a clock, so. Uh, okay, here it is. I almost feel like I should free the neighbor, but whatever. Okay. A camera. Camera. Don't flash yourself. <laughs> Shout out to gaming. Harmon and eye damage. The room turned evil. Spooky. Jump scare mansion. The true. I actually I did this off stream, but I, I made the decision to bump uh, Spookies and another game. I forget which one from B to A on my tier list. Yes! <laughs> yes! What the fuck is the other game I moved? How am I forgetting this? It wasn't Little Nightmares, it was one next to Little Nightmares. Okay, well, whatever. Game, it's stream is over. We're gonna finish this in a different stream. Because, man, the amount of technical difficulties in the first two hours made this We're actually... a little too much. <laughs> and My yeah, God, again, words, chat, I apologize for how many fucking problems we had in this stream like i don't even know how i don't even remember how many times the stream went down but it was a few um <laughs> but regardless we had we ended up having a good few hours of no issues so that's nice i hope you guys had fun um zach uh anything anything you want to you want to say buddy old um i know you don't really have anything uh, currently on the way but yeah i don't really have anything currently on the way um I guess all I really have to promote and whatnot is that uh, Phil and I are going to be continuing the Resident Evil War stream <laughs> True. this weekend. Yeah. Oh, and also I'm going to be on Bonzi's channel this Friday with Resident Evil 4. Oh, okay. That's fun. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I have two Hello Neighbor games to finish now. I promise we'll do it. Zach, I'll talk to you about finishing up this one. Um, not sure what the deal with VR is. I'm, I'm not sure what we'll do. We'll figure it out. But yeah, um, I, I will say though, I don't want to say anything conclusive or anything because I'm not done, but I genuinely think both games are pretty good. I think both are genuinely fine. Yeah, my avatar's fucked. This, this game, this, we've had a lot of problems. All right. <laughs> we've had a lot of problems. Um, but yeah, I, yeah, I genuinely think both games are pretty good. I think Hello Neighbor VR is like, possibly the second best release from Steel Wool. And I think this game is a major improvement from the first. I cannot imagine anyone saying otherwise. Um, uh, still some things that I think are goofy and there's some AI issues. But like, I think, I, I don't know. I, I remember after I watched the show, uh, which I really like, I really like the show. Um, I said, I wish there was a good playable version of this. And I'd say this and VR are decent enough for that. I would still like to see um, a, I would like to see the series still go more in the direction of the tone and style of the show. But obviously shows and games are different things. I don't expect it to be a one-to-one -one ever. But yeah, I think this game's pretty good. And I think VR is also pretty good. And I'm, ex I'm genuinely excited to finish both of them. Um, but yeah. We're going to leave this here. It's been a few hours. Again, I apologize for all the problems, but and it could have been worse, I guess. We've had a good few hours. Um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to everyone that donated. It's really appreciated, always. Uh, thank you, Zach, for joining me, buddy. I appreciate it. Of course. I was happy to be here. I'm glad we've been neighboring so much together. Um, I know. We've and I can't wait. Doing nothing but neighboring. And I can't wait for next time to bring you back to the neighborhood. Um, of course. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys later also i have a video on the way uh hopefully friday uh yeah 
Thank you guys so much for everything. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.